Hello guys. Hello guys. Hello. Welcome, welcome to Open Gym. Welcome to Open Gym. Um, man, W title. Yeah, man. This is what happens when I make the titles now. I make the titles now. This is a great title. Um, but this is no slander towards anyone. This is um, I wanted to discuss how when we talk about players, what holds more weight? Is it the analytics? Is it the eye test? Is it both? What analytics is it? What what do we view the eye test to be? Hello, Gabe. So I guess it's just I want to I want to get people's opinions on when they are judging players. What is it that you're looking at? Are you looking at analytics? Are you looking at accolades? Are you looking at the eye test? What is the eye test? Is it just hezy tween? Is it something else? I want to because everyone has different criteria. So I want to know where everyone's going with this. So that's where it is. I know everyone knows my opinion. Um, for anyone who doesn't, um, I like. I test to me, I test to me is always going to be number one. But I test isn't just whose game is the most aesthetically pleasing. It's about watching players and seeing how they how they um impact the game. So shooting ability. But then not just shooting percentages, because percentages don't always tell you the ability of someone. Um, how they dissect defenses, how they anticipate um openings in terms of playmaking um how good of a rebounder they are something that like the stats can give you numbers but the stats don't tell you how good they are at this thing they just tell you the totals of what it was um how good their motor is on defense those type of things i think that's what i test is i test isn't this guy can hezy tween step back side step three all of that that's not i test that's just aesthetics i think there's a difference between aesthetics and i test and a lot of people seem to get them confused um i think aesthetics is one of the worst ways to view players i think i test is by far the best way and then you've got analytics, which is like, I think analytics can help support your case. Like if you have a case based on watching someone and analytics support it, if you understand the stats, use them. But if you're blindly using stats, you don't understand to gauge players, that might be the worst way to use play to gauge players. And then of course, accolades. Get them out of here, man. We're not here for accolades. But I'm going to bring people up here. They can tell me how they view players and yada, yada, yada. Hello, Nisko. Hey, hey, what's hello, 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 how you doing, fellas? Hello, King. Hello, everybody. How we doing? Good afternoon, everybody. I think what you said is the like you have. I think what you said is like this perfect because I think you have to use your eye test first, and then like, and then like if you see something like what you did with the uncontested rebounds, if you see something and you're like, okay, that doesn't really look like Jason Tatum grabs contested rebounds, and then you find the stat to back that up, you're just backing up what you already know. So I feel like that's how you should use the analytics. I think um, I think you need a balance of both, like especially when it comes to analytics, like especially when it comes to scouting game planning, because analytics is just used for offense, also used to just efficient, productive for lineups, spots on the floor, situations, OTAs, a bunch of things. Especially when it comes to game planning, that analytics does have its place. So I think you need a balance. Um, if you are a person that relies on board alone just to determine how good a person player is. It's flipping up. If you if you buy if you're a person that just used Raptor or LeBron or Draymond to describe a player, you're slipping up. Or the same thing. If you or if you just go with basic box score, if you're just looking for 50, 40, 90 in terms of who's most efficient, you're slipping up. Basketball is a sport where you need you need there's a bunch of facts and a bunch of nuances in the game that you need both the empirical and the observance of evidence. That's facts. I I agree. Um, that, that's I was, where I'm at with it. Actually, I had a, I had a question because I know, Mars, you, you've been saying for a little while that um, maybe my eye test is a little different. Or maybe I have a different perspective on it. But, like, you say that Jonathan Kamei is like a bad defender? I don't think or he's do you good. Think he's, okay. Because uh, I, I, to me, I think, he's, I think he's a good defender when it comes to like if he needs to guard somebody like one on one. I, I don't think he's a good team defender. That makes sense. He's, yeah, he's okay. terrible. That that okay, because I I think that's that's where I I can understand that. Because I'm like I've seen him when Wiggins was out last year, and it was like a Mavericks game, and he he did he did a pretty good job on Luca one on one, but whenever it had to do with like switching and different action, that's when you know shit goes left. Yeah, I think I think defense I think has to be eye test in my opinion. I, mm -hmm. I, the defensive like advanced metrics I've seen. Not to harp on Jokic, but the fact that he be leading the league in them every year, like, come on, man, <laughs> let's not get, 
Um, so I think defense has to be added to us, but I think people don't know what to look at with defense because um, a lot of people just watch the ball when they watch basketball. Yeah. And so they view defense as who's guarding the ball, who's doing this. And like that's why I think, not to knock Clay, who's I've spoke negatively about, but he got viewed as an elite defender because of what he could do on the ball. But mm. then you look away from the ball and you see the flaws. Same thing with Kaminga. Um, I think Kaminga's not that great on the ball. I think, to be honest, I think he's very ill-disciplined, jumping on up fakes, um, getting beat to yeah. spots. But I, do, I do think he has the tools to be a lot better. So I guess maybe that's why I'm lower on him. But yeah. I think defense, you have to watch these guys play. You have to... If you're going to judge a player's defense, you have to actively go and watch games just to watch them, in my opinion. Mm. Like if I'm trying hey, to watch, if I'm trying to judge Yanis's defense, I can't just watch Bucks games. I have to watch Yanis. Like I will have to just watch Yanis on defense. See How early is he court. making these rotations? How early mm -hmm. is he dissecting plays and seeing where he has to be? How mm -hmm. good is he at getting through screens? How good is he at playing drop coverage? Like you have to watch him. You can't mm -hmm. watch Damian Lillard on defense and then say, "Oh, the Bucks gave 130. Yanis ain't a good defender." Like you can't do that. You have to watch the player in particular. And I think that's where a lot of people don't know how to watch people on defense and they end up saying stuff that makes no sense uh, and I also, hey, hey, hey morris quick question um for, for perimeter defenders if you had put a percentage on it what's more valuable um team defense or on ball defense on ball team I mean, the, on the, on the, yeah, it depends. It depends on the. I think it depends on what's around you. But yeah, I think. I mean, the easiest way to say it is there's only one ball, so only one person has the ball at a time. Whereas there's going to be four people without it. So if you can defend the four people without the ball, they're probably doing more collective value. But I think, I think it depends. Um, I think there's a limit to how effective a guard can be in terms of off ball defense. I think the peak of what you can do as a guard off the ball is like maybe what a Drew Holiday is doing this season. Um, anyone else who I'm thinking, who I might be catching a blank on, but like... No, Magic, that, that's, those, why I, that's why I spend this... Those type of guards, yeah, those type, those, like, those type of guards defensively, I think there's a limit. But if you're like six, seven, six, eight wing defenders, Herb Jones types, Jada McDaniels... I think, GA types. I think off-ball defense can be more valuable. You, you're going to need an on-ball defender. And with the way the NBA is now with switching... Do you consider switching to be on ball or off ball defense? It depends on your scheme because uh, to do it properly, some teams pre switch off ball. Some people switch switch off ball, so it's like expecting the pick. The scheme. Like the, yeah. the next, the next pre switch, and they yeah. don't have the personnel to do it. Like they, well, I can it. it'll be Cam Thomas on Joel Embiid. It, it, it's bad. <laughs> yeah, like, that, like for me, like how defense is a lot of scheme too. Like there's a lot of yeah. defenders who are in schemes that just aren't beneficial to them. Like mm -hmm. Brook Lopez earlier this year when he was being asked to play a lot higher and play some aggressive form of defense, wasn't mm -hmm. working. You put him in drop, he looks better. Now he's still slow, like a lot slower than really he slow. Years. So there's still concerns, but you can look better if the scheme fits you. And I think that's why I. I struggle gauging defense, like in terms of how good I think a player is, especially when I see them go from one situation to another and they look drastically different. Is that because they got worse or because they're asked to do different things? Mm -hmm. I, I don't, I don't know what I do with that. But I think well, generally speaking, is, I think off-ball defense is more valuable. I, I, I would, a lot would, of it is, a lot of players can be elevated because of their off-ball defense. I think uh, you said is is switching off-ball or on-ball. Uh, a lot of it is communication because mm -hmm. your teammates. Like you said, some players can look better in one situation and worse than the other. It may be the simple fact that a lot of their teammates are not calling out the right, like yeah. if it's on the left side or the right side. So you might be having trouble with that. And I think it's off ball, like switching. It might be off ball because anticipating a screen, uh, you know, keeping your head on a swivel and making sure that you know where it's, which side is coming from. That's another element. So I feel like a lot of it is situational. So it's hard to. That's why I feel like on-ball defense is the easiest to gauge because just being able to look at a player's hips, you know, keep their hands in the right spots and make sure that you stay in front of them, move your feet in the right, in the right way. That's the easiest to gauge. Off-ball is a lot of team team defense and team communication, so that's a lot. It's a lot more fluid, in my opinion. Yeah. Most, can, can, oh, go ahead, sorry. Go ahead, I was going to say, the most annoying thing about defense to me is like, yeah, like you were talking about the switch. I feel like people switch way too easily, bro. Like it's not that's a regular that. season thing. That's a regular yeah. season thing. In the, in the, in the, in the there's two there's two things that I can like easily tell you are regular season things, giving up easy switches and helping like one pass away. Those things yeah. die out in the playoffs. Like 
<laughs> not not to harp on Tyrese Maxi, but when Embiid posts up and they just help off Tyrese Maxi one pass away, <coughs> that's not gonna happen in the playoffs. That double. Well, the Lakers. Nah, that's I not gonna happen. They're not gonna. I've do seen, it. seen the Lakers do that last season. And yeah, the Lakers come. did no, that. Darvin, Denver, Darvin, yeah. Yeah. and they're doing yeah. most of that. Yeah. I was gonna say they're doing most of that switching because they keep their feet moving throughout the regular season, so that way they're active. But for me, it's the eye test. You have to use your eye test because. How else are you going to understand the game of basketball? For me, I look at the stats and everything from the stats to correct my game. For example, I saw that um, McBride, like let's say, for example, if I'm looking at a player playing defense, uh, this player is playing defense on that player. I see how many minutes they're playing on that player as well as how many shots they make and are contested. I write my own notes. And then I go back to the stats and analytics and see it and say, okay, this player has this advantage and that advantage. That's how I use the, the note system. So for me, you need your eye test to see what you see in the game, and then you also need the stats to correct it to say, hey, don't forget about his rebounding. Don't forget about, for example, Josh Hart is 19%. When it comes to rebounding, offensive or defensively, there's 10 players. So every player that's average has a 10% chance. Josh Hart has a 19% chance of rebounding defensively. That's mm. two people on the court from one person. So a stat like that to me is why I would look at and use those as my arguments. But people would use it in other cases like in accolades, like, oh, saying, like the way they misconstrued LeBron James, saying, oh, he, he, he's been there so many times and failed, yada, yada, yada. This guy, half of his career, he's been in the finals. Let's, I don't even remember anybody playing as long as he is or doing a job as long as he is and being successful, period. So nobody understands that because when they see the game, they're just watching him do the fancy moves and the spin moves. They're not even understanding what he's really doing as far as him being defended when he's coming down. Why is he going left as opposed to right? How many spin moves he's doing? So you need your eye test to go ahead and correct what you see to better gauge how you love this game of basketball. Hmm. Who has what? Uh, I think another what? element of eye test. Oh, so, uh, go ahead. Yeah. Your eye I was going to ask a quick, quick, quick question. What do what y'all think is like, what eye test thing that people say, oh, eye test has lied, has been the most deceiving in terms of from reality to the eye test? Oh, you like just what, mean what, a specific example or just a concept? Just, and just, and, and just concept, example, player. Or just well, my, my, biggest thing like is just, my biggest thing is just watching the entire games and multiple games. Like if you're watching a player from the past, for example, you need to watch different eras of that player. You need to watch different games. Like I wouldn't say there's a set number. But mm -hmm. to make it to make an make an assessment of a player off of one game or just not even five games, I think you might get a like if you're watching like the highest scoring games of a certain player, you might get a bad understanding of what they can do. Like I thought John Starks was a lot better than he was because I just watched like the highest <laughs> the highest scoring games, and then I'm seeing him in the. What was that game he shot like zero for thirteen? He just could not. It was like the ninety four uh, finals. You talking seven. about the finals? Or you yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. the playoffs? Yeah. I was like, if he did that, I think that was game four. Or yeah, five. and even in that example is like, you can't watch that game and think, okay, he's just he's just trash, you know. Mm -hmm. That's a random. <laughs> but no, no, yes, yes, you can. Yes, yeah. You can. Okay, <laughs> that was pretty bad. <laughs> no, you can because you know what yeah, you yeah. do. But you know, you know what it is about him though. It's like that when, you, like you just said, everyone looks back and says, "Oh, John Starks was the man," because they remember that he was bagging groceries before he played in the NBA and stuff like that. They don't really pay attention and go back and watch and say, "Oh, I was wrong about him." Like I agree with you. I was a big John Starks and a Ron Harper fan. But when I went back and looked, Ron Harper could not play defense, and he was a bitch. Excuse my language. <laughs> I, <laughs> nah, that's I'm just crazy. saying, like, I don't know you that complaining last about was Ewing? You complaining about Ewing on defense? You complaining about Ewing and how he played when Ewing was coming in the league with bad knees? Yo, you saw to me, bro. Hey, speaking of Ron Harper, said, how do y'all feel about this? Uh, do you think Ron bad Harper, defender plus he's a punk? That's do you think he is the worst lead guard for the Bulls dynasty? I think B.J. Armstrong is clearly the best. I think Ron Harper gets overrated because people look at his stats in Cleveland and think he was like. Crazy. Level one, he was, hold on, hold on, me, Mars. Hold on, me. Mars. We're not going to dismiss the Clipper year. That one Clipper year. We're not going to do that. To oh, me, what, 20, 20 a game run up? Yeah, to me, he I came mean, back from ACL. He came back from ACL, Mars. That's impressive. Yeah, no, but I, I just think he gets over. I think, uh, who cares? Who cares? I think I think he got, he he was the good player, bad team type thing. I think that's mm. what it is. And Whenever I saw him take an open three, I was like, that's, that shit is not going in. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he, re he reeked as far as you can see. Yeah, 
Beat what, did he shoot? what did he shoot from three? What did he shoot? I have no idea. I, I don't think I've ever seen him make. I don't even look, look up ninety. He makes them sometimes, but man, honestly, he's not a honestly I don't even look at nineties players three point percentage. There's no point. Yeah, you no, got no. you got to tax the short and three point line too. You got ninety four, ninety seven. Taxed. Yeah, I don't look no, at when I violate nah. The reason why when I violate is because yeah, Beach Armstrong. I'll tax, I'll tax it when it suits me. I feel like nothing. I've never seen <laughs> Beach Armstrong miss an open shot. Like it's just, it's just, it's, he's a, he's a sniper. I think he had the best three point uh, percentage in '93. I think. Yeah, I'm taxing Reggie team. Miller. No, no, he shot like you came in in '92, I think. So yeah, he, he had he had time to you know prove. Reggie Miller probably taking more difficult threes, to be honest. Oh yeah, he, I mean of course he was. My but I, I think I think Fade the biggest mis- the biggest misconception about eye test is, to me is when they say like insert any three level scorer is unstoppable. Just yeah. whoever it is, oh, there's nothing yeah. you can do. Like that's just. But also true. wait. Like that's I, that's why I'm like you're just like you just like someone who's a burst. So which sport. which one do you think? Okay, which one do you think is named the most as someone who's? Yeah, like, it's, a K, it's a Katie Paul handles. George. To me, it's, it's a Katie Durant. handles. Kevin Durant and Paul it's, George. It's Kevin Durant and Paul George. It's a Katie Paul handles George because people people will swear up and down, right? Wait, like you ask most people. No one's no one's saying handles, bro. Wait, you said you said Katie and Paul George. Katie and Paul George are like the two where like. You talk to the aesthetic people. It's like, oh yeah, there's nothing you, you can't. But like, I believe like, they're they, they, just, they, they just know that you just gotta hope they miss. As a person like, no, who does watch them quite frequently, they are very like when they're in there, but they're very aesthetically pleasing. But I agree. But yeah, that's, yeah, that's what it is, and that's why I say the eye test and aesthetic people are two different people. Eye mm. test is you watch the game and you form an opinion and you understand the game. Aesthetic mm. is just, oh, this guy's got a bag. Like that's you the, like aesthetic how it looks. people. I, they don't Ball know what they're I'm gonna be honest. I think I think Kate Buda, Kobe Buda would... stop is a weird one. Like he's he I don't know. He's just a hater. He's a hater. <laughs> no, he's not. A, he's just a bad. He's just a bad guy. That's all. You got to throw Kyrie in there, aren't you? No, yeah, because Kyrie, 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 Kyrie does get the label of "there's nothing you can do," but KD's one is crazy. Like they are like. The no, but I do KD think I do, I do the... think that it's fair for someone like Kyrie because I believe at least when he was in his peaker prime, there was like so many counters to his game. That I was sitting like thinking about, I'm like, there's not really to me at least, there's not really a shot that I'm giving that I, if I'm the defense that I'm comfortable with with Kyrie because it's like exactly. he can't shoot the three respectfully, he can get to the mid range, he can get to the basket, he can finish with contact, finish around the rim with different hands, can play in the post, and he has counters to all those as well if you try to stop. So it's like, bro, that you Spur- do, you do that Spurs that, game he had. I- was every yeah. shot I've ever seen someone hit? In oh, the game he had I've never seven. Seen that. Yeah, that was crazy, bro. Think, oh yeah. That I think was... the. I think there's also. I, I think I've said this before. I don't know, but I think being able to make any shot can be a blessing and a curse. And I think I've said yeah, this before. Yeah, it can because you're because not maximizing. Ky- because Kyrie something. can make any shot, he's comfortable Tatum. taking any shot, which means that. His efficiency will ultimately suffer because he's fine taking bad shots uh, because he thinks every if he you're, whereas you if you're right someone now. like Yanis who knows hey I can't I can get to the rim yeah. I have to get to the rim which yeah. is he's not going to be taking these terrible shots mm-hmm. whereas Kyrie because he feels comfortable taking anything because he works on everything that exists you end up having games where he shoots poorly and you can lose games because but he doesn't but, 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 but again but but again the blessing the blessing from that is like. Any shot could get you going because yeah. and, could, and then you uh, can win a game with the craziest shot. Like there's nothing a defense can do. I game. call that Kobe yeah, exactly. Bryant like other, I want you to realize the guy shot a high school three offhand drifting left hand floater. Literally, that's what he shot for a game. And it, it I forget, yo, he's ambidextrous. So Kyrie can use both hands. Like drifting like, offhand high school three point. It doesn't floater. matter. There's, 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 not, there's not many people who can make that shot that Kyrie made. Me, okay, okay, so so you're you're right about that, but what I'm saying is. Not you're right about that, but what I'm saying is, is that he's trained himself. Even he said it himself. He used to write with his left hand. He used to practice more with his left, and he tried to even out both hands to be ambidextrous. So yes, as far as someone using both hands like that, that is unheard of. But the fact that he trained himself, and we all know that he's capable of doing it, it just adds. Hey, he's that good. It's not like oh, he's a spectacular person. It's one in a million. No, he trained himself to be that good, and just give him his props. That's all I'm saying. To add on to the point from earlier, if he Wait, missed that didn't shot, props, huh? little weird have been like, "Yo, why'd you?" Yeah. That? And so I been hating on him on Twitter once someone so I complimented him. I seen. Uh, it's because of ja- it's because of Jamal Murray. You know what's crazy? I seen him try to slide in Jamal Murray in that top ten playmaking 
guards thing, bro. He tried to slide Jamal Murray in there. That was, that was, I had me dying. Yeah, that was, but the add on nah, to the point from was, earlier. He always Kyrie, got a secret agenda to push. It, it's if funny, though. that, like, little running floater thing, we would have been like, why'd you shoot that shot? That's, like, the worst shot I've ever seen. Like, you know? No, no, really. I it was a shot. That's for so it was a shot. Really. No, nah, could, you, <laughs> could you imagine if he shot that hit, like, all glass? That would have been funny. So I <laughs> it was well suspended on his right side, and he kind of had to take some. Yo, I think yeah, I think I think, no I, think I, I think um like the tough shot making and versatility gets more valuable the less amount of the game Huge. is left. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like yeah. The 48 the minutes, is. you want the most efficient shots consistently. That's why the analytics higher. plays a part. You want the threes, you want the layups, you want the dunks, blah blah blah. Then the game gets closer and it's a one possession game. There's five minutes left. Now is you take what you can get. Yeah, we forget the analytics. We don't need three. We just need to score. We just need to score. So I think, so I think the the larger the sample size is, the more valuable it is just to be an efficient scorer. So if that's Yanis or that's LeBron or that's Jokic or someone, I don't know. Just whoever has a hundred guys. But then the moment the game gets closer and teams start taking away the most valuable shots on the floor, so they're running guys off the three point line, they're clogging the lane. That's where you need shot making, and I think that's where guys like Kyrie or Luca. Or KD, Kawhi, they become more valuable the less time there is. But over the course of a season or course of a series, it's probably less valuable. So I guess mm -hmm. it's all it's all time dependent, understanding context, situation, all of that. But mm -hmm. I guess yeah, I got. You said about you definitely need both. You said about um, isn't it harder to game being able to take well? difficult shots can be your to your detriment and to your ability. That has mm -hmm. always been to my issue with kobe bryant in a way even though i have him top five i think he's one of the greatest players ever i think mm -hmm. that his ability to make those tough shots really ruined his game in a way because i feel like if you watch uh other players you can just take you can just pass out of that shot there's no reason for you to be taking that shot <laughs> there's so many times where kobe will take a dribble pump fake the defender doesn't jump and he'll just try to shoot he'll do it like three more pump fakes and then try to shake the shot anyways i'm like but, the shot isn't there anymore Pass but, out, but, please. and i feel like and i feel like and i feel like even though he played in a tougher defensive era i feel like he could have saved i guess save his percentages if he just you know took hmm. smarter shots I yeah because his Especially Kobe's clutch time, the, the, the percentages are like bad, like really bad. Yeah, yeah, but that, and, that's, and that's because and that's because he he was comfortable taking whatever shot. Now the results would say maybe you shouldn't have been as comfortable. Shouldn't have, but <laughs> he was comfortable taking all those shots. And I think I will say I think if there was an era where you live with quote unquote bad shot selection, it was the two thousands, just because it was so hard to generate good looks anyway. So mm -hmm. having the best shot, having the best shot maker maybe of all time was more valuable in that time like if he took terrible shots in the 90s where you could just go one-on-one -on -one, and he was still taking the horrific shots it would be less valuable and in today's game where the analytics are such a heavy hit it would probably be less valuable so i think that's where he benefited from his time where you can afford less efficiency in that era but i do think he'd he'd be better if he didn't take as many bad shots as he did but but, also in kobe's uh, kobe's nice. but also kobe's thought process was like him being guarded by three people is a better shot than whatever else was on his team. That's a bad thought process. Yeah. That's right. That's what I was about to say. It's a really bad thought process. Like, you know, no, ma no, ma no matter how bad you think Smush Black Parker hole. was, I promise you a Smush Parker open corner three is a better shot than Kobe contested by two people. Yeah. Yeah, Smush wasn't as, Smush wasn't as bad as like, that, people, That's just the reality of this situation. Teams on a jump shot. Yeah, that's but, the reality uh, of Amos, the No matter how Amos, bad I you think, about to hear, No way I'm about to hear Ace 30 k No, no, but I think... Parker, man. No, no. Shit hell is. no, hell no, bro. <laughs> I'm talking about... But but Kobe Bryant in particular, like, I think he's the he's the player that you can get caught with the aesthetics and not understand... Uh, understand. How, not understand the game. Because I think yeah. Kobe... Especially if you listen to most Kobe Bryant fans, they don't paint him as who he was, which was... He was a very cerebral player. They don't talk about his off-ball game enough. They don't talk about... The little nuance he used to do, especially to get his own space. Players talk about it all the time. You use the one of the original jersey grabbers, hit you with a quick elbow to get Green his own space. Get there, like a bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff. And I think, the dark, the and I think, and I think because yeah, I think I think because he's so like because he's so fluid in his game, people get distracted by that. They're not looking at the the little nuances that he is doing. I do agree with that. Like. I think I think Kobe's off-ball game is his most underrated part of his game. Mm -hmm. 
his ability to play around the ball. But I don't know. It doesn't, back screens, back it, doesn't, it doesn't get talked about that. I actually before. prefer Kobe off ball. Like his his quick strike ability. Like when he's off ball, he's catching the mid range, just pull up quick, catch three, yeah. relocate. Yeah, when he when when he went just, quick when he went quickly, it was probably better than when he was isolating yeah. for. Yes, seconds. yes. Even even when he when caught he really, in head fake, when he caught in head fake and head spin, fake. he had so many different things. When he caught the ball on the move, he would head fake, spin, cut. You yeah. you would just see like whichever way he's going, he had the opportunity to score, and yeah. I agree with that. When do you have a better? Like, I feel all like he needed it. was a little like a little pin down, a little curl action. He can get in the bucket every time. Obviously, it was like, am, it's pretty simple. Obviously, I'm not in the position to tell Kobe how to play basketball, but whenever I think <laughs> I, one of the things I see when I watch him is I feel like he does a little bit too much, and I don't want to compare him to MJ, but even though that's the easiest comparison, but. A lot of Jordan's move would be one, two, three dribbles, and he would get to his spot yep. and execute. And I feel like if Kobe tried to implement that, that into his game a little bit more, I feel like that would have improved it a lot more. I feel like you'll see <laughs> – I was watching the 2008 NBA Finals, and he dribbles, two dribbles to the right, pump fakes. Uh, I think it was Ray Allen doesn't jump. And then he tries to do a spin, and then it's just like you're just doing way too much. He tries to bring the ball back, come back shoot it again. I'm like, uh, it's just, I feel like if he just was more surgical in his movement, it would have been a lot more uh, effective for him in the long run. Well, this is going to sound a little nasty, but do you not think that MJ being able to just like basically take three dribbles, like I'm going to say like a part of it's because of the fact that he knew no one was going to help. So like, no, 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 I'm saying from the fact of like, Let's say, for example, Kobe, Kobe's, Kobe wants to go, I don't know, Kobe wants to go left. Mm -hmm. But he's seeing that he's getting stunted at, and he's seeing help come from, like, the weak side as well. I know so exactly he, like, what you mean. He counters I'll, to go back baseline and hits, like, a fade, a contested fadeaway, which that's his, like, low key yeah, when it was That's why. Move. No, no, so like, I, know, I know exactly what you mean. And I, I, like, I, 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 I had, Kobe had more to process than Jordan did. No, no, no. Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah, I, know exactly what what you, I know exactly what you mean, and I actually uh, consider that. Because when, when I'm watching Kobe, I put it side to side with MJ film, and I'm like, okay, what is what what kind of advantages did Kobe not have that MJ did? And a lot of these times, I'm watching uh, Kobe in isolation. I'm trying to see what he's doing in isolation. So if he has Ray Allen on, like, the left wing, and he's going left, taking two dribbles. And there's no help. The baseline is clear. And, you know, it does happen in the 2000s. Like, believe it or not, there's sometimes the baseline is clear. And mm -hmm. I see Kobe, he he takes two dribbles. And instead of just raising up for the pull-up jumper, even though Ray Allen has is on his back foot, he's created the space. He will pull back the dribble and then reset and try to get a shot that he wants, I think he's more comfortable with. And I feel like I've never seen, like, it, it is a very rare occasion. You'll see MJ do that. You'll... I feel like I don't know how to explain it. When I'm watching Jordan, I feel like he reads the defender a lot more uh, quickly. In a sense, if you watch '97 Jordan, especially he, you can watch a whole tape, and it's just him doing three dribble drills out there. He's just def like, just tearing up the de the the defense without yeah. having to do too much. You know what I mean? I, it's hard to explain, but I'm not there saying that Kobe wasn't like. Jordan's more skilled or Kobe's less skilled. I just feel like... No, I'm not saying you're saying decisive. that. I'm just saying was, that, like, it, yeah. if, if MJ... If I'm a defender and I know I'm getting single coverage on MJ, I'm going to bite on every pump fake, too, because I know I'm not getting... No. Help. If, I, not if, I'm about, if I know I'm about to get help if I get beat, mm. I'm not jumping. Can I just say something, I I just say something real quick? Hey, Can I just on. say something real quick about Jordan? With Jordan, like you said about Jordan's three dribbles and get to the point... Jordan had a very high skill of cutting off angles, and he would read your footwork. So yes. he's been able to get low or high, because if you look at when he dribbled, sometimes he'll bring the ball high, and he'll cross and get to his spot and pull up immediately. That's what Jordan was good for, because he read the defensive of the feet. And what also he was good for was when he would go up, unlike Kobe, where Kobe went straight up and then faded out, Jordan can start off with the fade and alter his body and shoot. If you don't remember that, Jordan, a lot of times you would see him start in one direction and finish in the other when he's shooting to alter the defense. So he was able to shoot around and over the defender as well. If you look at a lot of his fadeaway shots, that's what that's the difference between Jordan and Kobe. Now, the thing is, is what I saw with Kobe, why he couldn't do that was because Kobe had more of a I don't know how to say this. It was more of a like if Jordan was quicker. Kobe was harder. Like, I'm not trying to no homo, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> one was 
Like, no, I'm, I'm trying to figure a way how to balance it. Like, where Jordan was quicker because Kobe was a little bit, let's say Kobe was heavier or had a bigger physique, he couldn't do the certain type of angle or reach. He couldn't understand it like Jordan. So it was, no, no, it when was, he tried to mimic actually, it like Jordan, because y'all also forget, Kobe used to call Jordan in high school and be like, yo, how'd you do these moves? They used to spend all days calling. So he's a mirror image of Jordan. Here's the last thing I'll say about it. It wasn't, is, is that, what, 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 it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily second, that. Bro, one mic, 830, 831, mic, one mic, bro. Oh, okay. I know, that's what I said. That's all I said. Thank you. But, like, no, no, I'm just saying that I think I disagree with Cowboy. It's not the fact that the angles is more so it's athleticism. Like, Jordan was able to get more of a separation on his shot. Like, people forget Jordan, even though they're, they're viewed okay, as the Smith and Air for a reason. Yeah, yeah, like, Jordan was bigger. He was stronger and he was more athletic. So he was able, they're, so they're getting the same angles. They're doing similar footwork, but Jordan is, is elevating higher on every jump shot. Yeah, he's right. getting separation yeah. and everything. So it's like, that's, I don't think it's the angles per se. I think it's the size and the athleticism. That's the here's, here's what I'll say about it is that I feel like Kobe said it himself. And I think I took it to heart when he said, um, he was watching Jordan's moves and he was saying that everything was kind of like surgical. Everything was kind of perfect, like perfect in a way. Um, when I'm watching, and this is why you have to watch entire games, I guess, is that when he's attacking, let's say if he has a defender on the right wing and he's trying to isolate, and maybe, in, like, believe it or not, there was maybe a help defender nearby. Okay, The, the 90s isn't 100% isolation all the time, even though that was the case more, uh, uh, most of the 90% time. of the time, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like majority of the time, you did have isol- a lot of isolations, but... um. And you know they would do backdoor switches with that, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone's defending, Jordan will come out on the right side or left side, switch out in the middle over the pit. Like, that yeah. was also switch defense that most people don't talk about. Yeah, if, he's, if he sees the double coming, he's going to attack yeah. the double team and use the double as the the, uh, the screener as a, as um as his... Wait, he's attacking the, 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 the man who's coming to double. He's going to use him as a screen attack the double team and then rise up for the shot all in one, maybe one or two dribbles. Right. And it's very decisive. It's very quick. He's not making, he's not, he's doing, I think he's doing like reads. Like he's saying in his mind, he's saying, okay, the, 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 the double's coming. I'm going to go right. or I'm going to go left. And I'm going to attack. And if he doesn't come, I'm going to shoot. And if he hard doubles, I'm just going to drive, go all the way to the rim. And I feel like if you can make those reads every single play, it's going to look like, man, this just looks so easy for him. I don't know how he's making it look so easy. And I feel like that's the trouble people have when they're watching Jordan film is it's like, why does it look so easy for this dude? And I feel like that's the issue is that he's doing it so quick. He's making those reads so fast and commonly that it, it looks so easy. So, yeah. I, about, I, I just know how. How do I, I say this about being this? I test, baby. I test. Um, <laughs> I think, I do think a lot of that comes from him having, I'm talking about old Jordan, by the way. This is like yeah, and I, but he, he still like had major athletic advantages over a lot of people. That's true. And the rules were different. Like, okay, I'm not saying no. You can is, go ahead. I'm I'm not saying this is a one to one comparison, but no, let's say it. You, when you watch Jordan on the Wizards, I was oh, going to say that he dropped two forty point games, and he and, no, no, he, no. and he and he and he couldn't get to the rim with the same regularity he could. In his prime, because there was help, you was saw that. you saw that there was his shot selection looked worse. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And clearly he was old, so I'm mm-hmm. not saying that's how prime Jordan would have looked, but I do think Jordan's shot selection looked so much better because a the rules of the time, and b because of how athletic he was. Mm-hmm. Kobe didn't benefit from either one of those things like Jordan did. Kobe was a hell of an athlete. He yeah. was not close to what Jordan was. And I, I think Kobe spoke about it. He like a lot of people talk about the big hands thing. Kobe has said himself there was one thing he wanted from Mike was he wanted to have hands as big as Mike's. Phil Jackson spoke about it that the biggest difference between them was that Mike had bigger hands. He wasn't he wasn't as athletic because Mike he didn't have as quick a first step. He wasn't as agile as MJ was. Those things I think is what gave MJ a, such a big advantage. And I'm not taking away from someone because I think that's what makes you a better player having those athletic tools. I think that's why LeBron is so great with players like that. But I do think if he didn't have those tools, you would see he was a lot more similar to Kobe in terms of his approach. I think right. his decision making would be more 
would be slower because I think he would have to think twice about what shots he can and can't take. I think he mm-hmm. would have to, especially in the 2000s, there would be more for him to read in terms of so, more advanced reads and those type of things. So I think I think that's what it was. I think MJ is such an outlier ahead of his time that he looks so great. And he is so great. I'm not taking away so, from him. But he, Mark, it would look different if he wasn't as outlier as he was. So I guess I got, I, if MJ wasn't as good, he wouldn't be as good. Long story short. <laughs> no, 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 no. Long story short. That's what I'm saying. So, I'm really you say this, so you're telling me, you're telling me, if Jordan didn't have his athletic ability, he would have been Kobe. Like I as think far if, as the same, if, you know, if, if, like if Jordan did, if Jordan was, if Jordan and Kobe had the same level of athleticism, yeah, they would look a lot more similar. Okay. I try to put it like this. I saw in like it was like '85 or something like that. Jordan came down the lane, Ooh. and then he jumped. He came down the lane, and he pulled up for a jumper, and I feel like. This is not an exaggeration. His head, like his legs, were at somebody's shoulder. Like I don't know how to explain. Oh, the like, elevation was. Yeah, yes, okay. it's, it's mm-hmm. I, he. It was a jump. It has more. It has more pop. It has more he was pop. Taking, he looked jump. like a rabbit jumping. It was like, so it weird. No, like it made his, no sense. He would it, jump and his legs would bend back, and you're like, how is he still going up? And it just looks like yeah, it, it he's made no sense. It's, it's, like, it's like that Westbrook well, I, I do think that's part of the reason why I don't think Jordan, like the people who say, oh, Jordan would just shoot threes in this era. I think that's part of the reason I don't think he'd be a great three point shooter. I don't, mm-hmm. other than Ray Allen, I don't know anyone who jumps that high who was a great three point shooter on that jump. No, nope. unless you guys like, oh, any is a flat shot, any is a flat shot. Yeah, like he shoots like, at the he, apex, he, dude. Like, right? Like, so it's like, 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 shoot on their way like the dudes, like, like, like the dudes, like the Westbrook. No, Vince Carter had no, he shot on his way up, he shot on his way up. Vince Carter did, and Vince didn't, Vince didn't jump as high in his jumpers. I know. Oh, like oh, someone that shoots as high and can yeah, okay. like, MJ, okay, like, okay. like jump shot, like MJ like a Westbrook, like, like Westbrook ends at the apex of his jump. That's not like West, Westbrook. Like Westbrook and Jordan have very similar shooting margin. That's why Westbrook is, will never be great at three because he he shoots and then at his apex releases that like that pop, real that, that pop only, from the mid range. It's kind of different than Curry. Curry, Curry shoots only, on the way up and then he Curry, shoots yeah. on the way up. But only, I think only people that are like small can do something like that. Like people that are like six three can do shots like that. Like Kim Thomas is a pretty good shooter. At, and he shoots at the peak of his jump too. Oh yeah, Cam Thomas to... is a very high jumper. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now nah, Russ did it on his pull ups as well. He shot his. Yeah, yeah, team Mag used to do that too. Team Mag used to do that too. Yeah, no one cares. Yo, kind of hot. Kawhi, 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 kind of does it. Kind of. I got a question. I got a question for all y'all guys. Since we on this topic of eye tests and everything, I'm actually against this because I'm the one that I told Chill. I knew everybody was going to start talking about Ant-Man being better than Tatum. What from you guys' eye test is actually proving that fact? Because to me, hold on, hold on. To me, as far as defense, it was better the first two years he came in. But last year and this year, he kind of fell off because of the offensive stretch that he had to go through. And he'll have a good block here and there. But his offense and defense have been stepping back to where Tatum, to me, his defense stepped up this year as opposed to last year. Him playing defense on Giannis. I've seen him play defense on quicker guards. So for me, I want to know through you guys, why am I hearing Ant Man's better than Tatum? I'm not I, 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 I only think I don't think people say that because of projection and what Ant can be. Um I think Tatum's better, uh clearly better. Yeah, yeah I moment, think he's yeah. more polished as a player. I just when I look at Ant, I think like He's a player that you could project to be like a very good one if you were to hold on some of the skill sets that he has. Like we already know what type of athlete he is. Um, I think his processing is just a lot worse than some of the guys like that. Some of his peers in terms of like li- looking at reads, trying to make the right passes. Thank um, you. I think his, up, I think his shooting, yep. his shooting, his shooting as like a three point shooter is like is 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 okay. It's decent. I would like to see him get to the rim more because a lot of the times like. Not, I feel like eighty percent of the time, the person that the person that is in front of him or the rim protector isn't gonna be able to stop him at the basket, and at I just all. think that he should get downhill a lot more. But and stealing to me is like is is pretty high in my opinion. I'm pretty high on that, but I don't think he's better than Tatum. Yo, I think it's I'm more gonna, like a projection. I was gonna say as far as his shooting, real quick. What I've also noticed is that he's not squaring off correctly. He's shooting as if. If you notice when he gets to the basket, he always uses his off foot to rotate if he has to change directions. He's shooting a lot more leaning into it, and he's like one of his I will feet. Say, I will say, though, Ant has improved. His footwork has improved from this season, from last season to this season. He's, yeah, he's become true. a lot more like, 
Yeah, especially out of the post, his up and unders, like his pivot, like it's been pretty clean. Oh, you're talking about his mid game. Okay. The past you're talking about months, his mid game. The past yeah. couple months, Tatum's three ball has been falling like crazy. Yeah, I was going to say, Tatum's put up three's been hitting recently. Yeah. And that's yeah. a, that's a, if he hitting that. Yeah, you can have combos now. I'm ready to have yeah. And he's playing defense. <laughs> Yo, he's playing if, defense. If that, so, first off, was niggas, this guy. That pull up three was going in. Tatum 100% has better is, 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 a, is a definitely a better defender than him, man. I don't know I why. Think I think people just like Anthony Edwards' energy, and him as a player is, is like charisma and everything, so they rank him his higher. Aura. And his aura. Oh, yeah, aura, the aura talk. But, yeah, like the oh, eye. Oh, for doing aura is, only, that is like top three, clearly. The thing, is, the, lot, thing is what, the thing is with eye test is that I don't trust what people are looking at. Right, and so and mm-hmm. I know people always say I hate on KD, but the one thing yeah, I, I don't trust people, what you look at neither, guy. Yeah, I go lie. No, no. <laughs> hey, fair enough, KB. Care, fair enough, KB. But like when people were talking about KD in terms of his like dribbling ability and ball handling ability, and Mars would always allude this too. Like he's always had suspect hands, especially when he gets defensive pressure or he's the primary ball handler for a team and doesn't have an elite point guard next to him. So when people this whole time were saying. Okay, as a lead handle, when I know he's very turnover prone worthy and he can be bothered, it was like it was weird. I'm like, what are y'all looking at eye test wise? Are you looking at highlights. flash? But that it has highlights. to be highlights. highlights. No, no, no. Well, I was gonna well, say right because ball handle, at his though. position, at his position, he has the best handles. Because look, like I just told no, you about Tatum. Hold on, hold on. Let me explain to you. If you look at Tatum playing defense on like a, a small, he's playing defense on Brunson, Trey Young, like faster guys. But then you'll see him playing defense on um. Well, does he does he know? I thought my mic cut out. I was about to say. Oh, yeah. I, I looked at my phone. I thought. Yeah, I, I looked at my. Okay, I, I looked at my mic. And hey, I we, we can't hear you. Can't honest, no okay, hey, to be honest, this Tatum, this Tatum and Ant conversation is more disrespectful to Tatum than opposed to. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Not really. I'm not gonna lie. That nigga. We need to start talking about Tatum like this. He's not that good. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not as high on Tatum, but if he really is, if this pull up three is sustainable, then. Mars, that's my guy. If he's he better he than LeBron, if he does with that. Three, oh god, imagine what it he's not better than LeBron this year, though. Uh, if he's great. If it doesn't hit, I just said off, if it's no one spoke about LeBron. You see the insecurities. No, no, someone no, no I, I said it. I said about LeBron. Mars, my only problem with Tatum sometimes is like there'll be like full court. Damn, so good enough to that. He's on the court, like. Like I, I don't, don't, like, and then like for KD, there you go. I'm back. I'm back. I'm sorry, but for KD at his position. He plays good and he has great ball handling for his position. But when he plays against other guys that are more advanced, that actually knows his count, that's the problem. Look at even Kobe saying it. Kobe said he had the upper hand because before he got out the league, he couldn't catch KD's count. He's been in the league long enough to where now younger and faster guys can get that count to where they're making him look sloppy on certain plays. KD has great handles for his size and his ability. Now nah, he said it early KD couldn't. Him. He said early KD. I don't know if it was right or left hand. He said he couldn't shoot. Off for of the right hand. Yeah, yeah. Right. and he said that once he learned that, that like that was KD's weakness. I always thought that, but like as a he six eleven, six, as a seven footer, six eleven, six eleven, whatever you think KD is, yeah. and at his position and his size, and even when you look at his peers, especially when they get older, when you lose agility, foot speed, like those type of things, it just gonna be harder, and it is harder anyways to be a tall guy dribbling through tra- traffic. So like, I'm not gonna sit here and be like KD's handle is bad. It might look bad in comparison to someone like. Kyrie or even a smaller guard in general because they're more nimble they could get through more space because they're just smaller with KD mm-hmm. he's playing like drip not looking down but there's help and it's just like he's more prone to actually losing the ball because at the end of the day he's but, 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 but the fact that he's that that the that fact wait let me finish the fact that he is 6'10 and he has the ability to actually give you like a counter or two Mm-hmm. And still playing in space like that is still very much impressive to me. Like, that's just... KB, but point... that explanation you gave, I never hear when people actually explain KK. They're always like, oh, no, his handle is just best in the league. Yeah, but that's what of... they mean, bro, obviously. It's because he's tall. I don't even want to know who you talk to uh, about basketball sometimes, man. Yeah. I'll, I'll be here. I'll be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're no, not going to no. like, we haven't heard the KD seven foot yeah. handles like a guard stuff. We're not yeah. gonna yeah. No, no, no. I've heard that. But I haven't, in my, in my life, like, I don't want to say in my life, but I have, like, rarely heard someone say KD has the best handles of that be it. I, I've heard No, that I'm not saying that. Yeah, yeah like, they always say exactly. four or seven footer, don't they? But it is yeah. four or seven footer because you got to look as a seven footer. As they a don't? Seven, as a seven-footer, you have a high control point of the ball. 
As a seven footer, you have a high control point of the ball than you do as a six foot or a six foot two. Because think about it, KD's wingspan is much wider than mine's. So for him to go from left to right, it takes longer, and I could time that a lot quicker than me going in and out like that because I'm smaller than him, and I could go so to I, a quicker direction than he can. But he so still advanced with his ball skills. So I asked Katie to get into the most skilled ever conversations. Because that's all I heard. It's because when, of the angle. It's because, because, of because, of because, angle. He, it's because of how skilled he is for his size. It's the same reason yeah. 10 years from now they're going to say Wemby's in that conversation. Yeah. Even though Wemby's handle I is mean, never going to be godlike. You don't, if you're football, you don't think it's impressive that a seven footer has the able to like to no, shoot no, it. Is or just, no, no, but it just is listen, impressive, Kate. Yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. Okay. No, I said, it is impressive, but the thing is, I heard. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know what on, that sequence was. Not, know. not, not just on, not just on this platform, but just in casual speak, people will talk about KD. That four seven footer thing, I only hear that when I actually see, when I actually point out examples when he gets exposed for the seven foot thing being a detriment to his handle. Then people are like, oh, four seven footer. Every time I actually challenge it, it's like, oh, four seven. Because if you go leave, leave it unchallenged, people will have you believing KD has one of the best ten handles in the league. That's that's all I'm saying. Well, like if it, I ain't gonna lie, and like his in his absolute prime, he was kind of up there because like that's he true. was moving a bit that crazy. Means, I ain't yeah. go, oh, like he was never he was he was from Texas. Yeah. Like 2014 times. Yeah, like, like he was. I ain't gonna lie. I was seeing KD do stuff that I don't even think some guards can do. I ain't gonna like. I'll, see, I'll be honest. See, see what I mean? I'll be honest. See what I mean? But that's at his okay. absolute. No, no, but listen, football. No. That's at his. I, I'm that's it. Listen, just listen, just listen, just listen, just listen. KD when he had a first step was kind of different. Yeah, yeah. that's like what I'm saying. Like, years, oh, Mars, you telling me, Mars, you telling me that peak KD handle guy was not like doing stuff that you could like an average guard was not gonna able to like, pull off, bro. He just <laughs> wanted. I like Seattle Supersonic so, KD. Yes, I think I, 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 don't, I don't think I would ever say KD handled like a guard. I don't think I would. Yeah, ever no. say thank you. Can I, I don't I think would, I don't think he did either. But I think there was stuff that he did that guards KD had a very good handle. I, I, yeah. Wait, who had a better handle, Luca or the KD then? Luca, Luca. Luca. Usually, what is? We just explained to you why Luca's man. Luca, I, I'm Luca. not gonna lie. I think it's Luca. This is, this is kind of away from the point, but I think when you are watching close, you you don't really see the decline of players. Like when you're watching year by year, KD. Like, yeah, you, I don't think true. people look at him, KD, and like like they'll still think he's KD. Yeah. But then you just go back and look at ten years ago. Oh it's no, it's not the same. It's, it's not the it's same. Like, it's when, not the same. But I was just year by, like the same thing with LeBron. Like as it's happening year by year, maybe you don't notice the decline because it's happening year by year slowly. But then you just go back and watch 09 LeBron, and you're like, what the hell? You know You know what's crazy? Yeah, what Mars, you don't even Mars, you don't even have to go. You don't even have to go that far. Go to I just watched like I recently just watched like 2018 KD, like in the offs in the in the offs, bro. He was like he was moving different in every series too. Like he the counters, the Pretty ability to killers, shoot over right? the top, getting to the basket, handling the pick and roll. Like the way he was just operating a movie, like he just looked a lot stronger. Like he absorbed contact better. He was finishing over the top better. Like and he was just more explosive. Like it was it was crazy just watching this. And I'm like, damn, like he can still like do like sixty percent of these things, but damn. You like guys, it's been... you guys remember that dunk over Paul George that LeBron had? Yeah. Mm. He jumped from that. He jumped from the uh, the restricted area, and it looked. I was like, "Dang, he can still jump that far." So I go back and watch other dunks in, in his past. He, he was doing that... free throw line dunks in game. Mm -hmm. Yes, yep. he would jump from that same distance, yep. and he would be flying into the stands. I'm like, "Oh yeah. my and god!" He, the, reason why he the, the reason why he did the tomahawk dunk was because he had the angle to where it, he would hit his yeah. head every time if he hit the rim. If like he, he went straight now, for it, like, he would hit his head on the rim every time he dunked. I don't, I, he can still jump high now, but still, like his his dunks, he's not getting up the, anywhere near as high as he used to. He's looking at the man next to Mars wants to talk. Yeah, wants but, to say something. My bad. You know his hands are like, oh. Go ahead, Nissi. Go ahead, Nissi. I was. We have went through a few conversations after to what I was trying to say, but um, for I remember with LeBron though. I think Jordan was at the game. Um, he had looked at him and he oh the dunk against Charlotte yeah okay. it, yeah and he had looked at him while doing the dunk. I was like, yo, I'm not gonna lie. Nah, he, he built he built different, and then you see what he kind of do today. He it's it's not even close up to me for my like that is. But um, how many of y'all watch? Oh wait, oh nine, LeBron. 
Oh wait, oh no. I did live? Go. Live? No. Gone yeah. back? I I did. I that's my favorite LeBron to go back on. That's my that's my favorite. That's my favorite LeBron. I actually see. I got to see. I got to see. I got to see. I got to see like three games live. Not like in person to person, but like on TV. Yeah, I got this. Bro, like, KB, I was, listen, how listen. old was I? Like six? Yeah, like six, seven. KB, in around. today's NBA, 08, 09 LeBron, my average is. See, I don't know. Mr. Ryan struggled. Look at that. The I, I, look, me, it don't even matter. I've never seen LeBron's with my eyes and I feel like 08, 09 LeBron. No, with nobody. Yeah, that's uh, what that was ridiculous. Nobody. CR seven? Oh, let me stop. He doesn't. No, <laughs> I'm just trolling. I'm just trolling. <laughs> Relax. You say both probably to me, you like John Moran doing clip. No. <laughs> like, how, how much is the average in today's NBA? How much is OAO yeah, now? Because that. that's how you get that Allen Iverson's averaging 40. Yeah, 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 let's yeah, not, yeah, yeah. Let's I go live. 0809 LeBron let's is averaging like. 0809 LeBron today. 27. 23. 24. Top five league. 23, 24. Just but the walk. rebounds would be there too, though. The rebounds would be there. The blocks would be there. Fields would be there. I'd say around 24, 24. I say top five in the league. I don't know stats. I think, I think, you know, I think he would average over 20 points a game. You know, something. Yeah, yeah. I'd say over 20. Yeah. Hot take. It would be the same. I think he averages over five assists too. Facts, facts. Over five rebounds. Over five rebounds. I think he'd average more than 25 and five. Yeah, over a zero point five block. Fifty percent shooting, like fifty percent shooting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Over so under like, one point again, like seventy four percent from the line, something like that. Over under one point again, sixty, sixty nine, sixty nine. Uh, he's averaging 35, 34 again, probably. You think you think LeBron would score more than Joel Embiid? No, no I think he scores like I think I think he scores nah, thirty four with the space with the bro. He I, shoot bro. Thirty four. Yeah, so we've got to a point. I just want to clarify. We're at a point where LeBron is still in the league, borderline yes. top ten player, and we are error taxing his past years and saying he would average thirty five in today's game. No, yeah. still in today's game. That's not me. That's him. <laughs> that's, that's him. That's, 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 that's not me. That's, that's him. him. That's, 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 no, you know that's, 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 that's the goal. Well, he's that's still in the league. No, the reason, the reason, the reason, the reason. I don't think people realize. I think his usage rate is lower. Like, bro, LeBron is extremely efficient for how much he actually ends. Like, he's sharing the ball. With two other ball handlers in in his starting lineup, LeBron and used to be. LeBron dude. used to be have a hot. You're hot talking series. about him in the past tense when he's still in the league, man. Yeah, no, no, I'm talking about no, no. I'm talking about him. He's still, him he's still a work of art. He's still contributing. He's still a. No, I'm talking about in the past now. tense where he where he was where he was doing controlling more possessions and more. I'm just I, look, 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 look. This That's guy for saying. 20 years has been a top 10 player. Throughout his 20 I know, years, I know. he's not. I say though, from his greatness, that realistically, is very hard to do. Admire what he does and stop trying to add on to it. Realistically, I think LeBron, 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 you're talking to guy, LeBron. I think, I think LeBron, I think LeBron and like that version of LeBron probably would average like, I'll say, like 27, 25. like 27 to 29. Nine is like eight and a half, seven boards. Now. He hasn't Plus, developed his game in his no, like no, I think. No, I think no, that's no. the LeBron that would probably average that in this in this in this era. Also, when when the older people who are in the leagues, oh, sorry, sorry plus, sorry. like you got you got to understand LeBron is an insane athlete, but to he be is. fair to some of the people in the league, one D, I think defenses have been like gotten better and also like people have all gotten more athletic he's still more I, that version of lebron is still clearly more athletic than any of them no 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 i'm not look mars i'm not debating that one bit but i'm saying like i give some respect to the defenses nowadays like that like you know like a, a little bit just a little bit of bro respect. he still gets to the rim now what yeah, i was gonna say is this what i was gonna say is this doesn't drive that much now but he does back then like, yeah, let's, let's, let's address the elephant in the room. I was gonna say the, he couldn't shoot. Jump shot. Let's yeah, let's, let's, like, he yeah, couldn't shoot. He couldn't shoot. Talk about it, bro. Throw a zone yeah. defense out. You see, you see how football's eyes lit up when we said jumper. Like he got flashbacks. Let's, like, let's, let's, let's address. Let's that address that elephant in the room. His jumper wasn't as bad as y'all say it was. It was bad, bro. It was bad. It was bad. Wait, thirty-nine percent. No, wait. Just I have a question. I have a question, and I want to ask every. I, I want to ask everyone just one by one before I get to right, Mars. Right. Was LeBron James jump shot in 08, 09 respectable? No. Was it? Was it? Yes or no? No. Okay. No. Um. What? What is? I don't know this brother's name. The one to the right of you. I don't know if it looks the same on your screen. Nassim. Yeah. Nassim. Was his jump shot no. respectable? No. No. Um. The brother with the lo the A logo. It's A thirty. I'll go one by one. I know. Okay. You go by one by one. 
Because I can't see was the LeBron, Was LeBron's jumper respectable in 09? In like in clutch situations, nah. Uh, I'm not gonna ask football. We're gonna skip him. Um, <laughs> KB, KB, was LeBron's jumper respectable in 09? Hell, fucking no. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> K, K Thomas, K Thomas, was it respectable? Brick City. It wasn't Conway? Brick City. Yo. No. <laughs> no. No. Uh, no. Are you with us? Sturdy, are you with us? Oh uh, yeah, it was low in the mid. Exactly. Thank you. It wasn't horrible. Of, uh, he said low it's end of mid, okay. which is bad. Like, <laughs> which is bad. <laughs> yeah, like, bad. Like, like, you're saying thank you to that. That's how low the ball. Was, no, 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 no. But hold on, hold on. I just want to say, let me say this real quick before you put the other guy in. If Giannis, if Giannis can average thirty with no jump shot, uh, here goes Giannis. Giannis. Okay, thirty that's being that's a contrarian. I'm, not, no, once I'm like, even say, without uh, a jump before, shot. LeBron first of all, Helio. Good, he, like, I never got to ask heliocentric. Heliocentric was LeBron's jump shot respectable or no? Britto. There we go. Okay, <laughs> but second of all, the, the Giannis thing. Giannis is a lot more of an aggressive scorer than O9 LeBron. Been on LeBron. I don't know about that. that. I'm not but saying that, LeBron has. I'm not saying LeBron is incapable of scoring thirty. Yeah. He can the, score 30. It'll be on, like, league average not, efficiency, though. No. No. <laughs> the, the issue with LeBron... But he just... LeBron, <laughs> LeBron, LeBron just wasn't as aggressive as a scorer as Giannis. He only got to that Especially in the regular like, season. Yeah, he only got to that point, like, a, like later when he got to Miami. And then he really... Oh, he averaged was, 30 and he, and he, What? He did. I'm yeah, saying, but you used to go... Like, how many minutes was LeBron playing when he was averaging 30? If you, if how many you players at LeBron shot at Wait, let's go to in today's shoot, LeBron shoot, James a, first a seven of years of his career in Cleveland was averaging how many minutes? 40 like minutes a game. 40 minutes averaging. He, that was normal and, for back and then. That's no like one's doing normal. that now. LeBron no. played like 36 now LeBron minutes. Probably- Bro, in 08, in 08, 09, LeBron was LeBron averaged twenty eight, but played thirty eight minutes a night. Like, uh, do you do you guys remember the two thousands? So many people played that. Many. And the year and before he averaged, exactly. that was the norm back then. It's not the, the, the year norm. before he he had one, two, three. He had four straight seasons or five straight seasons of forty plus minutes or more a night. Yeah. Like that averaging is, a night. How are the medical people allowing that? That's disgusting. He was average. Okay, you know what's crazy. Like now LeBron's back actually in insane. How the hell did you not get an injury and play forty minutes every night for five years? How is that possible? <laughs> that is insane. See, is that insane? Insane? How, how, many, yo, how many minutes? How many minutes Tatum plays today? Okay, like thirty. Bro, I will stand on this. All his points Tatum, come from low leverage Jason, minutes. No one Jason, cares. Tatum, 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 that's, Tatum, that's true. Jason Tatum today plays thirty-six minutes. Oh, 36. 36. Damn. He's not oh, even man. playing. He's only playing I 36. I, I just found out that LeBron was shooting below 50% from the field in 2009. Oh, wow. Yeah, mm-hmm. his, first, his first season, he yeah. was 50%. Oh, so that's how bad of a jump shot shooter he was with that. How is it? From zero to three feet, he was 73%. Yeah, from zero to three feet, he was 73%. From three to 10 feet, 45%. 10 to 16, 28.6%. <laughs> God, oh, my damn. God. That's Jesus. less than Brick hey, City. Are we forget- 16 hey, look to the three-point line, 38.8%. And then from three, he was 30. Like, come on, this is normal. Yeah, I'm, look, I'm looking at three. The time. I'm looking at LeBron splits yeah, from like, uh, what's it called? I'm looking at LeBron splits from oh, you know, It's not and short, those mids, aren't that short, short, midi, short midi thirty seven, long midi thirty eight, all mids thirty eight percent, bro. That <laughs> think about right. the year that we're talking Yuck. about. That yeah, is LeBron could have like, like at the rim, he'd be the better today. Nah, yeah, seventy three percent at the rim. A crazy amount of attempts. We know he could yeah, get yeah, the rim. Keep your head up. I'm not gonna lie, LeBron had some questionable short selection at the rim too. Like, there's times where, especially like that Cleveland stint, there'd be times where he just runs to the rim and just like. It looked I mean, like yeah, you're, right. you're, not, you're not wrong. It, it looked like it looked like a number zero in OKC. That's all I'm. The thing saying. is, but... I, I like I like to watch. <laughs> people hey, also you, don't the the jump shooters. Yeah, you know what's funny? Yeah, people don't discount K, K, people, people don't also discount Katie's poor shot selection just because he's an efficient jump shooter. Now a lot of those no. series, Katie's a very KD. feeling. Okay, how much of no, it? How much? Get, okay, if you me? if you know if you if you know right, the same I could do the same thing for LeBron his and his getting to the rim. I'm not gonna tax I'm not gonna tax LeBron for taking bad shots to the rim because how good of a finisher he is because he's that good at doing it. So if you know how good of a jump, like if you're one of the best shooters in the NBA, one of the best mid range operators, how bad is a bad shot to KD? A long component two is always going to be a bad shot to me. I, it's just because he makes because he's seven feet tall. So because he's seven feet tall, no shot is quote unquote bad because he's just shooting over. Uh, actually, but, but, actually, if you look at when KD goes up with the ball, he also tends to fade away to where 
He angles himself similar to Jordan, the way his body moves in the air, the way he can shoot. It's not just him going straight up and shooting as a seven-footer. A lot of times when KD shoots, he angles back, and he gets that higher arc on his shot, especially when he fades away. So for KD, it's not a bad shot. It's the higher You know what KD? You know what KD? You know what KD? You know what KD? Look at where he is with the ball. Have you guys seen the Memphis series with KD? The ball is bad shot, bro. He was KD. We we can call it how it is. KD takes and makes bad shots. Thank yes. you. He does. Same thing. But but is it a bad he, shot when he's taking yeah, them? No, he hits them. Yeah. Steph Curry, Steph Curry, Steph Curry does, takes Steph Curry bad shots. He, I yeah, he does. Every, every he just does. Every make it in the playoffs. But, but do you? But this this one. We can call it how it is. No, no. no I think that's. I think I think both things. I think both things can be true, but I don't like harp on it too much because yeah, how good I, I, yeah if someone can make bad shots you live with them taking bad shots sometimes you live with it because they can make it but the, but they still are bad was, shots was, 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 was Dame no yeah i agree with football like a long two is like kind of like a pointless jumper but when i see kb but, like mm -hmm. in triple and he's operating like top of the key he's triple threat it's kind of like a deep two area and i see him hit like a triple threat triple threat then like a no dip jumper i'm like okay all right this thing is crazy but like he hits it yeah but those aren't the bad stuff the bad stuff are when he's like off the dribble and he's like fading away kind of weirdly and it's like very contested the ones where he's just standing to me that's not a bad shot but the one where he's moving and dribbling by the way that's yeah, one of my favorite when, when a player does when a player catches a shoot or like is in triple third and they do a no dip jumper and they hit it that's become one of my favorite things i don't know what it is a no dip jumper clay been doing that since like 20 years a no dip jumper is just crazy bro like I, Pat Connaughton, he does. You know, I think he, he killed my man with that shot. Kyrie well, does it. Kyrie does it. Kyrie does Nicholas it. Batum. Nicholas Batum. I don't talk about. I don't like Batum. Nicholas Batum. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas Batum. No, the thing, no, he does. But the thing about Batum. The thing about Batum, right, is that he got a weird no dip to him. Like it just looks kind of. It looks like a set shot still. Like it's weird. I don't. I don't like it. It's not pleasing. I, I know you're talking about KP. I know you're like, talking about. Um, someone, someone told me to look up Kobe's percentages from the same spot. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna read super chats if no one minds. Okay. So 0809, same year as um LeBron. Kobe was 66.4% from zero to three feet compared to LeBron's um, 72.8. So Damn. LeBron, LeBron won. Um, Kobe was 46.1% from three to 10 feet versus LeBron's 45.3%. Mm -hmm. Kobe was 44.8% from 10 to 16 feet versus LeBron's 28.6%. Okay. Um, he was 42.4% from 16 feet to the three point line compared to LeBron's 38.8%. Eight percent, Kobe two and two. That's two and two. Um, 38 .8 and LeBron was 34.4 percent from three compared to Kobe's 35.1 percent. Kobe got it. I'm looking at it on clean the glass right now. That nigga Kobe was clearing him at all sorts of mid-range. That's close though for the three. It's not that close. That's not close. Kobe was undeniably the best Kobe was undeniably the best score. Kobe was undeniably the best score. Kobe was undeniably the best score. That's not close. There's no argument to be made that Kobe wasn't the best score outside the restricted area. Kobe was better outside the restricted area. LeBron was just so all-time great in the restricted area. You can have to wear him. That's true. Run and dump it? I'm now going to read Super Yes. Drink More Water said, regarding basketball development, is the three-point and the clock being different at all three levels helping or hurting development? Is going from a 35-slash-30 second shot clock to 24 a big adjustment to make? Does anyone think mm. that's a big adjustment? That's, yeah. It does. It makes, like, it makes it so that you have less time. You got to be, you got to execute more. Um, you, gotta be you gotta be, yeah, you have to be more decisive. You have to understand and read things quicker. So when you have a 35-second shot clock, you can just, like, ease your way into a set. In 24 yeah. seconds, you gotta get into the set quickly. Make sure you're placed properly. I know where I live. They can save off like like 15 seconds off your. Clock. Some high schools don't even. You know what's crazy? Yeah, some high schools don't even run shot clock. Yes. Yeah. Some high schools don't even have. We live in the 50s. Like 40 seconds. And also, we did and here's another around. thing with the 35. You control the clock. You control the clock a lot better with 35 seconds. Because you think about it, if you got 40 seconds left on the clock. That's literally one possession as opposed to almost two possessions. You know, Mars, isn't that crazy? You could low key be up two nothing in high school and just score a layup and hold the ball. <laughs> that's yeah, that's what I'm saying. KB, we you used to do that back in my high school because we didn't have a shot. Oh, you niggas are nasty. Oh, you guys are disgusting. You, you, so just, you niggas are nasty, bro. It was no, you niggas is nasty. Yeah, what's nasty, worse? What, what's worse? Winning 2 0 or winning 100 0? What, what's what, what's what, what, I've never I seen think, it. I'm gonna lie, 2 0 is crazy because I'm I wouldn't stay. I wouldn't stay my team, yeah. 
As a player but, on the court, I'll be like, all right, nigga, I'm out. Like, right, I'm like, like, that's, that's, like, stop me out. I'm not about to stay for this. Like, yeah, that's what would happen is people would start to foul when you would start holding the ball because we didn't have a shot clock. All so right. there would be a lot more that's foul. Giving us free. Yeah, yeah, but that's not. That's cr- how is that so? It's not even basketball. Yeah, you foul, you George Mike in 2024 is crazy. I don't have a shot clock. I don't know what's up with that. Sora Jiren. Sora Jiren. Hopefully I said that right. Not basketball related, but the main reason for eye test is watching Messi play compared to Ronaldo. Stats definitely matter, but there are some things that stats don't show. I mean, I don't think anyone's still having Messi Ronaldo debates in 2024. Wait, can I ask you a question? Yeah. How, 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 Let, how, how, soccer has advanced stats. Good, I've good. never digged oh, into soccer advanced stats. The eye test, test, the eye test, test debate in soccer, the eye, test, the eye test debates in soccer are way worse, way more toxic because... It's less definitive. It's far more subjective. Like, is it? wait, Mars. Does the soccer have advanced stats? What's Messi's yeah, vorp? Messi's vorp. Is, vorp? <laughs> is is it like? Wow. You know what's crazy? It, if, Messi, if Messi had if Messi had a vorp, it'd be in the plus double digits. I, I, I wait, is it accurate, what? Mars? Like soccer advanced stats? Like like basketball? No, no. It's crazy. You have I'm, a, I'm a fan um, of Argentina soccer, but I don't even like. I, I don't. I think I think there's a generation of people who just judge football players based on stats, and they've ruined it. Mm-hmm. It's terrible. No. It's terrible. I don't like Messi. Wait, wait, so hold on. Wait, so. <laughs> wait. So Mars is heavy eye test on football. That's 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 what you are. Oh, 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 oh eye test. The, I don't think <laughs> but the thing is, you, the thing is, you <laughs> have to because there's so many things that okay. transcend quote unquote stats, but stats lie in football. <laughs> So much, and also what are they? What are they uh, using for football advanced analytics? Like box creation? What are they using? I got you got XG, which is expected goals. Okay. Expected goals. Is that advanced XA. stats or is that just? Wait, math. Yes, these are these are advanced stats. X A expected assists. Okay. You've got shot creating actions. Hmm. I'm not gonna. Got, that doesn't sound too bad. No, it's bad. You've got you've got you've got progressive carries. It's bad. Just, just dribbling. What's wrong? Um, then you, you, but there's nothing like there's no PER for football. I don't think that exists. No PER. Is there any it's, 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 it's just a bunch of like, this is how many it's goals you should have scored. Don't you think like the rating of the player for that game, like match rating, would be something similar no, to like a plus that's minus? Subjective too. That's subjective match, I don't even know how match rating is calculated, to be honest. Hmm. But so yeah, I always Maybe. thought that. I, I, to me, to me, I always thought that. Like, leagues. I don't look at it the same, but I feel like match rating and like your overall plus or minus in a game or something similar. No, no, no. Like, KB, KB. Someone it can be skewed by goals. the game or skewed by you. Someone could score four goals. I've seen someone score four yeah. goals. You're and there, not there at the right place at the right time. Yeah, How good. Because if you score, if you score four tappings, I'm sorry, you ain't doing nothing. Also, Holland's not that good to you. No, he's not. No, hell no, not Holland. I call Holland a tap in merchant and people mm-hmm. throw a habanero. Yeah, who's the best? Yeah, people who try and tell yeah. me that Holland is the best player. No, in the no, world. I need, I need, I need a non hater. I need even the best player on his team. Like, no I'm not hating. Is he, is he better than KDB? No, no, no. no. That's what I'm saying. Who's no. 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 the best ball cop to Holland? Yeah, let's, well, let's, let's go back to basketball though, because chance for to get confused by the basketball comp of Holland's. Yeah, I'm not kidding. It's not Giannis. Giannis actually self creates. Giannis self Moses Malone. Imagine, okay, no, no, no. Imagine if Rudy Gobert actually rebounds. got lobs. So, Giannis, you want to play? No, just think I about it. Do I Howard? Do Howard? I think Zion is. No, that's no, that's you got to think, you gotta think of a better. really, you got to think of someone who's just like, Rudy Gobert, if he averaged 20. That's, that's bro. the one, bro. Damn. Howard? Holland gets like fifth, gets like five goal opportunities a game and will score like nah, one. I'm, I'm sorry, like, like, there's no, there's no it. world in which you can watch the game of football and tell me Haaland is better than Bernardo so. <laughs> Mbappe, 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 Mbappe comparisons are so stupid. Mbappe, wait, 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 wait. Mars, where do you, weird. is Holland in your top five? Top five what? The soccer <laughs> players. No, 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 no. Okay, now nah, you're bugging, bro. You're I was oh, oh, telling me there. Holland is one of the five best football players in the world. <laughs> Who's better, Holland or Lewandowski? How can they need to come back? Mars, Mars, who's better? Wait, 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 who's better? Holland or Harry Kane? Harry Kane, obviously. Okay. No, Harry Harry Kane doesn't win doesn't run trophies, so I'm cool. 
Bro, you know, they love bro. They love bro. We, we're bringing up trophy tax down, man. That's just over. Uh, yeah, bro. Holland might, might be the fifth best player at Man City. Like, yeah, yeah. Wait, bro. Mark, Mark. Wait, 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 trophy tax is Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, I hit... I'm 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 anti accolades in football too. Don't worry. I don't know. Yes. As everyone should. No, K K B K B K B. Harry Kane went to a team that won their league twelve years in a row. Guess what's not going to happen this year? That does not. He is not the product <laughs> of why the team is bad. The coach <laughs> is bad. Cool the coach no, is solid. I will say. I will say. Look, listen, listen, listen. I know. I will, I know, listen, listen. I know, I will, I will say the, the Harry Kane. Okay, uh, the Harry Kane curse. You were the joking. Harry Kane curse is real. That's why, as an Arsenal fan. I'm very it is. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm like, very King, I love King, but the kid of course. And and fifth is not a re- I'm I'm sorry. Like there's you can't watch Harlands and tell me he's he's that good. I'm sorry. Like you can't he's, who he are, can who be are, the who fifth are, best player who are in the world. Footballers in the world right now. Before we go back to that, he can't be the fifth. Right Who's your top five? The fifth before best we go back in to the world? Basketball. No, Harlan's not close to the fifth best player in the world. Who's your top five? I don't I don't have a top five. I just know Harlan's nine. Okay, so name five, just name five better, and then let's, let's move on. Five players, but Harry Kane is better than him. Mbappe is Salah, better than him. Mbappe. Kevin De, Bruyne, Kevin De Bruyne is better than him. Rodri is better than him. Um, Mbappe. Mohamed Salah is better than him. Uh, is there anyone else I'm missing? Not going to name the other English center who plays for Real Madrid? Not many you teams. Oh, don't get me started on him. Vinny, but Jude Bellingham is better than him, yeah. Jude Bellingham is amazing, bro. Who else is better? Who else is Wait, better? Wait, what did you just say, Mars? Jude Bellingham? You're, you're not serious. And I'm not, I don't even like Jude. I don't think Jude Bellingham is that good. But he's better than Holland. Um, so do you think Musial is better than Holland? Jude Bellingham yes. has a better case to be yes. best in the world. Musial yes. is better than Holland. Jude Bellingham is better than I thought I ranked Musial high, but... I'm so like I'm not moved by someone who scores tackles. Who's better, Phil Foden or Holland? Now let me stop. Okay, let's, let's go back to basketball. Let's go back to... <laughs> Foden, Bernardo Silva, Rodri, KDB. Uh, who else the Man City have on their team? Who I think is better? Uh, I can't remember who's on Man City's team. There's a lot of people better. Long story short, Vinicius right. is better than Holland. Yeah, Vinicius. Is better someone, than someone in the chat said Nunes clears. Uh, that's where the convo ends, man. Um, yeah, let's, let's change. Let's change something. I'm sorry. Yeah, let, let, let me go back to basketball. Let me go back to basketball. Yeah, um, Brian Holiday said, "Do you think Kevin Durant sold his soul for rings?" Like, what does that mean? That what does that mean? Can't just be a coincidence. I'm not gonna say someone anyone sold their soul. For no, rings. bro. No, he made a no Steph move. Curry sold something for his shooting. No, bro. look, look. KD There's no he way. Made a business move to be successful. He grew up with a if you guys wouldn't do the same thing, you're just being stupid. Because with that being said, you got two championship rings and MVP. Plus, you got paid. You're gonna tell me you're not gonna go and be. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to the people who like, to the people who would say stuff like, "Oh, if I was KD, I would have chose to go to somewhere. Like, I would have chose to go somewhere else." If you, if you, if you are in your career and someone told you you could go be in the best place that maximizes you and your career while also getting paid, and you're guaranteed to, and you're guaranteed to continue to level up. There's no world in which I wouldn't go to a Golden State. Wait, exactly. where else could he have gone that would have yeah, been a it's not even like you're going anyways. to Golden State. It's not like you're doing a Robert Ory where you're going to Golden State. You're not doing a Robert Ory or um, a Clyde Clippers, 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 Clippers. Clippers. You're going saying, there and you're one of the top three guys. Like, you come in there, now you solidified yourself as the fourth piece, like, you're not even Wait, a side actually, piece or a role you think, player. You think, KD you think, steps up. Like, come you on. You think Indiana? You think Indiana would be like a second, like place spot to go? Because no, Indiana no market sucks. Indiana's no. market sucks. No. Suck. That's why they can't get anybody to go out there and no, play. No, I'm saying at the time. At the time. When, oh, when at the time. No, there, when he it's came. Not the market. Indiana, it's management. I know. It's, you could have gone to the Spurs. Could have gone to the Clippers. No, they, they would have never, they would have never maximized you the same. The Warriors were literally the best. Ju- no, your best, no, your best, best. the best situation. But you I mean, I think the Spurs. Yeah. Was yeah. Was yeah. Like, but Katie, like, Katie, I think, but Katie like considered the Spurs as rivals. That's why he didn't go. So I think the Spurs. I, yeah, actually, well, I'm like, so another place that would he probably go if he went to like, probably like the East. If he, I don't know if he wanted to see Braun, but I'm just. 
The he thing is, Cleveland was trying to recruit him. Maybe he could have gone to the Cavs. But y'all gotta understand, this team Maybe. still would have won. I'll be, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Like, like, honest. like I said again, no situ, no situation that you guys are naming right now is better than the one that I know. That's coming from a Warriors fan. Can one person talk at a time, please? I like. What do you mean that's coming? Age thirty. What do you mean that's coming from a Warriors fan? Nick, the situation in Golden State for KD was literally his best option. But I just gotta say, hold on, hold on. That team. That team, when the Golden State Warriors, they just won a championship and then go into 2016 and lose, having one of the best records. Then they go ahead and you look at what they did. They went to this guy and said, you won't be just an addition. You will be a key cog. You know what type of stuff you would hear from that? If someone comes to you if you're in the league and they're saying, we're going to win championships with you, and you're the last team to pretty much go back to back in a long time. Yo, mm, they want to. the smartest yeah. move for them. They recruited him. Cow Everybody up. was on page. It just worked so well that no one expected it to work as well as it did. Because Cow everybody up. was expecting them to fail. Like that third year, that's when everybody... Oh, what happened? Does he know? Does he know? You know, one of these times people, we got to... There's a difference between, there's between people wanting them to fail and expecting them to fail. They literally became favorites as soon as he signed it. But, so yeah, I just want to make sure. I was like, Ace Thirty just sounds jealous. Miami. Yeah. But it's two, it's two things. It's two nah, things I'm not there. jealous of a team. I'm not a fan of one or a fan hate. So uh, I'm jealous, jealous of somebody I don't care about. You, you jealous? It's okay. Of what? Okay. Of what? I don't okay. know what you, you jealous of? Mm, okay. I know what it is, but you are jealous. That's what you're talking to, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't buy like you, baby. Go on, stick. Yo, Ace Thirty, yo, drop the, drop the low, nigga. No, I'm sorry. Oh, just wait, just wait, just wait. Oh, best I, you know, you I don't guys? know about Katie. My yeah, Katie seen, you yeah. can make your decision, right? But you, if you make your bed, you got to sleep in it. Him being like, oh, I didn't know why people were mad. Like, bro, you just, like, competition-wise, people are not going to look at you and say, when you just lost in that fashion to that team, and then you join them. Cool, do mm -hmm. what you want, but, ex but you can't expect to – to be oblivious to what people are going to react to. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. No, I'm not saying. Like, yeah, like, don't, I, don't, now, don't do I understand? I, I, I understand. I'm not going to be blind by no, it. No, no, I no, understood, no, no. I understood the backlash. The sure, backlash that saying, came with it, I understood it. I'm not going to lie. The sturdy, I'm not saying he should He should worry about what other people are saying. What I'm saying up, is you can't, be you can't be surprised by people's people, reactions people. to going to that team. You can't be. Yeah, I think that, um, well, one – I don't think people expected it to work as fast as it did, because you know a lot of times it's a it's a great period. Because I think Miami it took them a second to like really figure out what they of wanted. Of course, yeah. With with KD, it was just like, well, we're gonna let KD be KD, and we're still gonna play Warriors ball, and it just it happened. But I would think I know that th that was the best spot. I was just thinking of like secondary spots that you know that probably could have equaled not the same amount of success, but still some success. I was thinking like Indiana maybe because that was another competitor at the time. You I was can't. Thinking, Hey, I mean, you can't say that because what was already done was done. Like, they won championships with Golden State. So anywhere else you went, it probably would have never happened. Yeah. Hey, Cowboy. Luke. Y'all can hear me? Yeah, yeah we can hear you. Cowboy, who yeah. told you Ant got worse on defense this year? I did. <laughs> From my eyes. Like, right, well, what made you say that? Damn, that was like 45 Yo, you minutes get, ago. You always come Cause in the like, well, like ain't rotated minutes. nobody. I've been trying it. Hold I've on. been trying Hold it. Hold on. <laughs> we'll talk about that, but let, let Mark finish up the Super Chats because I don't want to oh, be Oh, yeah. Let me, let me finish up my Super Chats. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because I got to go uh, to that. Lee Ban said, if Dame keeps playing like this, where is he right? He's basura. Garbage. 425. You guys 425. 425. best point guard in the league. Mars, I, 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 I want to let, you know, let you know. Mars, I want to let you know. You're the reason. And he's for been hooping recently yeah. without Giannis on the court. It wasn't a 435. Well. Right. 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 Super chat. Dame's a top five point guard in the league. You guys need to lock in, man. Respect Dame. Mars, and I'm then telling you, I know I'm Mars, L Dub, and L Football. There we go. There we go. Max, yeah. I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you guys the flow. There we go. No, 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 because I got smoke with everybody. Oh, this is the no, beef. No, you, Say no more. Hey, this is I got smoke with everybody. Nah, 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 you, 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 yeah, 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 I ain't the beef. I was like, wait, where? Yeah. Right, so, so what makes Ant, what makes Ant getting worse on defense this year? Because y'all y'all was up here just saying stuff, and I nah, that was me. That, was that, that wasn't them. That was me. That was me. No, I'm, I'm talking about all y'all because I got smoke with everybody. Nah, 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 nah. I ain't saying words. I ain't saying words. I ain't saying shit. I'm the one that smoke with you for not saying the word. All right, I'm just the moderator. I'm just the moderator. I'm just the moderator. Do you do you know why his defense have been lacking? Cool. I'll go ahead and tell you. 
at before last year, if you look at last year before Cap got hurt, he was actually playing proper defense. He was coming off the of screens and coming back and blocking. And he was able to convert his offense to defense a lot quicker. Now in today's game, since mm-hmm. Cat's been there before Cat got hurt, you see him allowing them to actually fall into the position to where they could do the rotation defense. Now, if you looked at it as opposed to last year, last year he had a higher rating in defense as far as being a guard. Now he has a higher ranking as far as defense in the league. It's not the same. What he was doing last year as far as defense, he was able to keep up and keep the guys in front of him and contest the shots. A lot of times I'm seeing guys smaller than him or bigger than him getting the shots off going to the side of him. His defense has been lacking. And if you look a lot of times when his guys are taking shots, as opposed to last year, he used to cut in and help out with rebounds and try to attest um, guys who grab the boards. He would put his hands around them and contest them. He doesn't do that. You see him leaking more out now. So a lot of the skills that he was using last year defensively isn't showing. That's my eye test. I could go into it more, but i like to hear what you got to say. Wait. Oh, Max is a bitch. Is he cooked? What? I lied. I lied. Wait. There you go. But, Welcome, um, back. Welcome back. Welcome back. But um, all that you said ain't true. One, he's a better <laughs> on-ball defender. We don't gamble as much this year. Two, his, off, no, his off-ball defense the last two years has been horrendous. So even him just approving that made him a better defender this year. So that's just false of everything you said. He pays more attention. He's closing out gaps. He's not getting beat as much. He's not gambling for steals as much. I watch every Timberwolves game. I don't know care what face you make and how how much your hat lean you sit up your line. <laughs> we go over again. We go over again. Can I pick a game? You said you've seen all the games. Can I pick a game? Go ahead. Okay, can we pick the game against the Denver Nuggets? Uh, I want to say the one that you guys had. I want it Was it the one in January? I think it was the one in January where you guys had the big lead because you were a Timberwolves fan. You guys were fighting for the first position. And Cat was scoring a lot. He was hitting his three balls and everything. In that game, I remember seeing Ant-Man trying to leak out a lot, and he kept yeah, missing yeah, a lot. Yeah, one game. Yeah, one game. Come on, one game, bro. <laughs> you Come on, bro. I'm trying Come to on, show bro. you the basics. That's the one, that's one game you watched all year. That's the one game you watched all year, I'm not Come talking on. about that's just nasty. one game. I'm showing you every single step that's from one game, then bro. till now. But you know what? You got it, though, because like I did last year, I showed you last year points in his game of what he did last year that made him great in defense. He's not doing that now, and you're not even accounting for that. Yes, I am, because I think he's doing it. And I think that he, even – no, just like like I said, just him improving off ball is him getting better on defense. I don't care what else he regressed in. His off ball defense was so bad that he wasn't paying attention to stuff. Just him actually trying on off ball defense. Makes him better on defense. Since so I say that he got worse um, on this defense. This is an unwinnable yeah. argument. You're calling ball defense. It's all, it's all, it's all watching it, both of you. Next. I test, it's the eye test argument. It's the eye test argument. It yeah, it's unwinnable. Argument. You guys have, you guys have to me, sit down and watch like, the This is the whole argument. Is, I saw this. No, I saw this. That's yeah, the same it's what I was hearing. No, no, what you guys are saying is we need the analytics. Um, okay, we yes. go to analytics, please. Yes. Okay, so or or we need playback. Like go on. KB, KB. Do the bus for 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 I know I, when I watched uh, the, a game that comes to mind. I guess, one game, one game, one game. No, I'm giving I'm giving you, you, this game. you can't, you can't say one game when I'm giving you an example of a game that he did this in. All this. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I have to give you an example of a game that I've seen this in, right? Because like, if I can't, that what's, what's the point of this conversation? Go ahead. A game that I see, a game that I seen this was also against the Nuggets, where I was watching him trying to read defenses, get to the basket, not attacking Jokic's space. Not being able to get downhill. He's not processing certain weak side cuts as well. He was missing reads and settling for jump shots. I think his processing is a bit slow at times. And he hey, has, hey, that's KB, something that he needs to KB, work on. What did he do all, all playoffs versus the um, Nuggets? That's different. I think then he that still had nice problems. I think no, no, last no, year he still no, did he not attack Jokic all playoffs? He was attacking no. his space. No, wait, wait, wait. He did. Not not really. I'll be honest. He, he attacked did. his space. He, he did, did attack it. Okay. Oh, are you gonna okay. you, when you ask a question? The whole point is for it to actually be answered, not to speak over the question. Don't blame the lie. <laughs> you good? <laughs> Don't get hey, lie. Anyway, I literally just said he attacked Jokic's space sometimes, but he still that was still a problem in that series was him processing things in that same series. And on top of that, he's still like relatively like new to the off. So I'm not gonna like sit here and when I watch him not be able to make reads and process stuff, be like. 
Ah, he's terrible. No, he just needs to actually just learn how to get better at it. And he's gotten a little bit better, but it's still... He's still, he's still a, it's still a problem for him as well. And this has actually been a problem. Even as, as simple as finding a role man in the pick and roll, sometimes he struggles with that. And it's just like... Thank you. I mean, he's going to read your so. Or picking up the next man. He doesn't even do sometimes, that. Like, just, sometimes, it's, sometimes it's the pick and roll ain't meant to be hit. Sometimes the role ain't meant to be hit. It just is what it is. Sometimes it's meant to be hit. That just is what it is. And then y'all say that he can't pass out of double teams. He can't so you're that a all stand, He's been doing all that all year. But y'all don't want to give him credit for getting better. Yeah. And all y'all want to do is see him harp on it when he has got clearly better at it and doing a good job at it. I don't him think pass- it's been I don't think it's been clear because you're still your best like initiator. No, I won't say pa- like your best initiator guy is still like Mike Conley. He's still like then, y'all, our best initiator is the point guard. <laughs> yes. Come on, tell me about it. It's not meant to be hit. Um, I, I still a better for, anyone, for anyone wondering, Anthony Edwards ranks number 16 in Vault. Mm. What's his Raptor? Come on, Al. What's his Raptor? What's his LeBron? What's his DPM? What's his LeBron? I bought the numbers. Calm down, guys. Anthony Edwards Thank LeBron you. is a 1.8, which is in the 91st percentile. Wait, is LeBron a real stat? Yes. Oh, yeah, what? Yeah, that's a real stat. What? Wow, you got his own stat? Wait, y'all ain't know? <laughs> no. Oh say? my god, you guys are old. I'm not a stat fiend. Me neither. And I'm I don't even use guy. LeBron, but I know he got a. I know he got a stat. What's this Jordan? Is there a Jordan stat? No, he's not a goat. No, oh, he's like, not the goat. Like, 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 can you explain to me these stats? Please? You need a left. You need a educated. left to have a stat. Yes, you need a left to have a stat. What's his left? Oh, wow. Like, what's the LeBron stat? I'm not okay. Educated. The fact that Mar said Anthony Edwards is a 90, 91st percentile LeBron. Now I want to know what that stat equates. Because yeah. <laughs> let me let me just let me go, just go, tell go, you. Go, go. LeBron stands for L luck adjusted <laughs> estimate using a box prior regularized on off. So L for luck, E for estimate, That's B for box, show. R for regularized, O for on off. LeBron. They the called it LeBron. It does make sense, though, if you look at it. LeBron. So, okay. so Anthony, what's, what's, but I will say, um, no, um, O-N, on, off. O-N. Oh, oh, on, off, okay. On, okay. Yes, okay. So, Le- um, Anthony Edwards LeBron is a plus 1.8, which is in the 91st percentile. But his offensive LeBron is a 1.7, which would mean his defensive LeBron is a It's negative. What's LeBron? Wait, what? Is that wrong? Yeah. 1.8 Le- oh, okay. yeah, yeah, LeBron, yeah. 1.7 offensive LeBron, but it's like 1.7 yeah, yeah. Point, 1.7 something. His D LeBron, defensive LeBron, is a 0.0, <laughs> technically, because it's below 0.5, which means he's a neutral. He's in the 57th percentile of defensive LeBron. Yeah. But if you don't like that, you've got defensive LeBron box, which is based on the box score. He's at a 0.6, which is the 81st percentile. And then his defensive BPM... A 0.7, which is the 74th percentile. So, you're so and oh. his overall, he's painted as a slight no. positive defender. Slight positive. See? Like, well, the exactly the way he should be. He was exactly a lockdown the way he defender. should be. He was, exactly. not, he was not a lockdown, he was lockdown, lockdown defender. defender. Stop, Stop lying. He was not a lockdown defender. Stop lying. Stop lying. He was it last year, Mark, was, so we can, so we can settle this with the staff. Last, yeah. Hold on, okay. I think, uh, at the guard position, he was a lockdown defender at the guard position. No, he wasn't. Cat, okay, he was, hold, on, through hold on, hold on. Cat didn't play 52 games, so out of those 52 games, he had to I use... No, I, I, I will say, I will say... One sixteen. I Once again, I have no horse in this race. Hmm. Anthony Edwards' defensive impact graded out higher last year than it does this year. Told you! Mars, 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 can we can we do a different player? Can you look but, up wait, wait, wait. real quick, real quick? Okay, for okay. context, Raptor, which is one of the defensive stats, doesn't get calculated until the season has concluded. So Anthony Edwards has <laughs> a defensive raptor for last year, but he doesn't have it for this year yet because the season is okay. Okay. so that might skew his overall defensive impact. Same so you're saying we gotta wait till we gotta wait we till got, we have to wait till after the season. We have to wait till June to see okay. who's right. Look, nah, this is yeah, I'm yeah. in this book by saying a lot okay. of we'll be back, we'll be back in June to analyze Anthony Edwards' defensive stands. He okay. wasn't a lockdown defender. Let me say that he was a better defender last year than he was this year. That's all wait, I was wait. trying wait, to say. Mars, nah, he's I'm a the same what defender. Is, I don't care what a stack Mars, what is what is what a raptor, what a Jokic, what a you want to know LeBron? 
I think the one thing you want to know what? Know why why LeBron's why LeBron. LeBron. You know how funny uh, me uh, but LeBron let us let Jordan out, out. Let Jordan oh, out bro. Le- Le- LeBron used to lead his own stat, but this year he's only in the 98 percentile. Yeah. Oh. Plus 4.1. But, but, yeah, but LeBron James, LeBron's defensive LeBron is higher than Anthony Edwards. Yeah, we know that, chat. But I'm gonna say for for I mean, Anthony Edwards. Edwards. I'm mean, not Anthony Edwards. You see Anthony Davis or Edwards? Edwards, Edwards, Edwards. Okay, 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 okay. But I, I want to say for Ant, for what I think the conception is for this year, I think it's also with the he's also oh, last year was more, better. This year he actually has a negative defense of the Broncos. Sorry, but for, exactly. for this year, for this year, what 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 it is no is defense. because he's in more of the limelight for like all of the stuff. He's, he's What's Luca? Like, he's been a, he's been a highlight thing for okay. so long. Probably negative. He's he's uh, gotten a lot of um he's gotten a lot of highlight stops, a lot of game winning stops this year. Yeah, kind of ups his def- that makes it seem like his defensive negative zero point three for Luka Doncic defensive. Jesus Come Christ. on, man, Luka's just Luka's average. Not, what about not, Kane? That's 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 I watch them every game. What about Kane? Kane? Start to finish. It's not oh, just Kane. 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 I want to see uh, Kane. No, see, not you know it's crazy. Now Kane, I know why football says that he doesn't trust people's eye tests. Sometimes people just see the wrong thing. If you want, you can look at how many points you can allow. Okay, Jokic, Jokic has a plus one point four defensive LeBron, ninety first percent. That yeah, that's that's fake. We don't we don't think it's real. What about SGA? Where's SGA? I don't know. I don't know. Just because one person's an outlier doesn't mean the stats fake. I don't no, know. It's fake. Thing. It's fake. It's fake. Because there's Shea, other, there's other like defensive. The fat name Lebron. That bitch fake, bro. Excuse yeah. my life. Shea has a Shea has a <laughs> plus one defensive Lebron. So his defensive Lebron is lower than Jokic, but it's better than let's, Luka. Let Let's see. Let's see Wemby's. Let's see Wemby's. Ooh, what's that? Hey, you, know, yeah, it's a LeBron. you know, it's Lebron. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if they. I wouldn't be surprised if they skewed it to the point where it's worse than someone else because it's. LeBron. Wemby has a plus two point nine ninety ninth percent. You see, how can you say it's fake when stuff like that happens? It's fake. It's defenders. fake. It's fake. It's fake. And what? Uh, uh, let's see. Let's see Anthony Davis. Okay. Also, I think this stat has like on off, so it's kind of throws with the team. Kind of ninety eight percent. Wait, what about Rudy? Check Rudy. Uh, no, I like I mean, when, I a, when AD I is on the floor with the Lakers, they have a bottom ten. They have a worse defense than the Spurs, so they do. Uh, Rudy Gobert plus three. But that's probably just oh, shooting, though. Okay. That's just shooting love, probably. Rudy nah, Gobert because they play a plus defensive the impact. That's crazy. I'm Wait, what do you say, KD? I said it's because they play offensively. That was crazy. I said two point three. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. that makes sense too. This he starting lineup is off. Back to the end of the year. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, we're back huh? to Anthony Edwards? Okay. Bad yeah, process. Just, just don't out. make me bring up the Anthony Edwards playmaking stats. Please. Don't do that. Playmaking talents. Playmaking talents. First this year. I'm telling you, he took a step back this year, and it's okay. He has to develop. He did I'm, not. I'm he did not. He did not. Anthony, wait, is that Anthony Edwards in the 11th percentile of passing efficiency? Makes sense. <laughs> I, don't Mars, I told about you respect. chill out. I told you chill out. Nah, That's I another told, stat that just makes sense. I don't, I don't, care, about, I don't care about these stats. I was just trying. But, uh, no, but Matt, uh, you can, you can, 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 can I have a question for the panel? Yeah. Process, I've seen him hit the dump down pass a lot more this year. I've seen him be able to um, process of when he – y'all say he take too many pull-up jump shots. I agree. But I've seen him actually when he needs to stop and get to the pull up, he can get to it. When he making them, he damn near unstoppable, which is like I mean everybody. Hey, hey, hey Mad Max. Max. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Max. How, how old is he? We just seen this stuff for anyone. I think he's twenty-four. He's twenty-two. He's twenty-two. He's only twenty-two. He turns twenty-three sometimes too, but he's twenty-two. Well, he might be twenty-three now. Actually, I think his birthday is pretty good. I thought his birthday was in February. That's the only thing. It might be. It might be. Let me just. Or in August, something like that. August. No, he doesn't turn twenty-three till August. He's twenty-two. Yeah, August seventh. Yo, that's insane. Wait, I have something to say for a second. And when he gets when he gets trapped, y'all. Say he can't play on a double team when he get trapped. He make the lay down pass, which we pray no, to somebody that. for making a lay down pass. But he don't. But got he does that when catch to take the secondary he offense does. for. So, to be honest, Mad Max, I, I think I think if Rudy was a better lob threat, wait, what? He actually, he actually, <laughs> no, no, real talk, like because Rudy, Rudy hands aren't aren't that good. I think I think he'll actually get more reps in terms of that. And Cat being out <laughs> actually kind of Cat being out actually helps in the development in terms of playmaking. Because now he's getting more defensive Thank attention. You. I agree. Thank you. Mike and Conley and Rudy Gobert. It's the question for the Bears. Rudy Gobert and Utah. Utah. Are making a big question. All right, just quick question for the panel. 
and I, I, I thought this for a bit. Start bridge cut. The greatest what ifs. Penny, Grand Hill, or Derek Close. But they always help. Penny, Grand Hill. It's in that order. It's in that order. It's in that order. Can we start through everybody like one at a time and get their Hey, Mark's the host. All right, go ahead. Okay. KB. Penny, Grant Hill, D Rose. Everyone healthy. Who are, who's the best player? Uh who's the best or who it's a start bench cutter who is the, yeah, who's the best? One through three. One through three. Um, I'm cutting Derek Rose. I'm starting Grant, Benjamin Kenny. Okay. Max. I'm starting Jabari Parker, cutting Isaiah Austin, and benching <laughs> D Rose. Okay, but them fuckers from the nineties. Let them stay in the nineties. <laughs> we done with the nineties. Let the nineties die. We done with the nineties. Grahill played in the two thousands. Um, Cowboy. I was gonna say I would love to see Grant bench Penny, and I would like to let go of Rose. Man, I gotta release him. Uh, Thomas K. Thomas. Yeah, give me a Penny. Yeah, uh, give me Grant. And give me. Well, actually, just use the same order that he gave. So yeah. Yeah. Nassim? Um, start Grant, bench D Rose, cut Penny. Ooh, I gotta talk to you about that. That yeah, he got packed up. He got packed up. We don't have a night. No, no way. <laughs> um, Heliocentric. Helio centric. Well, before I answer, first of all, I've gone back to watch Penny, but like you know, I haven't, I haven't seen. I've seen almost like zero footage of Grant Hill because I didn't, I didn't really care to go back to watch him. So like Penny D Rose, that's it. Um, Sturdy, do you have an opinion? Uh, yeah, no, he doesn't. The honest with you is, no, nah, I'm cutting D Rose regardless, but I'm I'm starting to because of bias. But real talk, that Grant, that Grant and Penny conversation at at the best. That's that's a tough. Conversation. Grant Hill is LeBron James, so like I don't, you know. Nah, was, nah, mm. Penny, Penny, Penny got higher defensive upside, man. Is he that good? I ain't see Grant Hill play defense till he couldn't move anymore. What's Grant Hill's LeBron? It's fine. <laughs> oh, brother. Wait, good, I have a question. Why doesn't Did y'all see the Sample game last night? What were you saying? The Kansas game. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What did you say? What game? The Kansas game. I was watching. I was watching Houston play Chicago. I don't know. Go look at how they got Rob Mars. Just go look at how they got Rob I don't watch March Madness like that, my guy. I don't lie. Nah, I'm not on my draft. I guess. Hey, my guys, I gotta go, man. Have a go. Go uh, New York. Go New York. Merry go. Christmas, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. You know what month we're in, right, Mars? I just wanted to let you know. Christmas is better. If I if I feel like it's Christmas, it's Christmas. Happy Christmas. birthday, Mars. Wait, yeah, 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 I have like a question. Christmas, Christmas is a special construct, so I don't know. Oh. But yeah, I'm, I said I'm I'm starting Penny Benjamin Grant Hill. Wait, are you Christian? Are you just going to oh, That's kind of crazy. Um, one more super chat, by the way. Sorry. Oh, okay. Irregular said anyone who doesn't have Kyrie as an elite shooter, I don't respect your opinion. Top oh. ten all time, off catch, elite off shooter. dribble, midi, clutch, change my mind. I don't want to change my mind. Elite shooter. <laughs> I think he's top ten. Well, borderline top ten. If he's not, who's top 10, never called Kyrie an elite shooter? Yeah, I don't think anyone's ever said that. I think Kyrie is an elite shooter. I think he's an all time great shooter. I don't know if he's top ten on that list, but he's not the most. Oh yeah, I don't like you taking. I don't like you taking credit credit for my Anthony Black propaganda that I was pushing. I remember having to tell. I remember we was doing the pre-draft on the panel, and Chill said about Anthony Black. I don't think he really understands the game. I remember that. And I had to debate about why Anthony Black is one of my favorite guard prospects in the draft. Anthony Black, why his field of the game and his IQ is very high. Yeah, I remember that. I was pushing yeah, I was the Anthony Black. Agenda, I was, I was pushing the Anthony hey, Black. Hey, but I got a question. Agenda. You know how you yeah. always say offensive players, defensive players that can't do nothing on offense in this league ain't go last? What's your thoughts on the saw now? Is, does he fit into that mode? Sar? He yeah. can do some things on offense. Mm -hmm. Like, he's not Andre Robeson. Like, he's a great, he's a great athlete. He can cut. He actually has some solid like passing feels like a secondary. Yeah, for, yeah, yeah, yeah. And in transition, he's good, but there is going to be some major questions about how you build an offense with Asar Thompson, like um, majorly. And I think that's going to overall affect the ceiling. I think it's different for a men because I think a man can do a bit more with the ball in his hands. I mean, but well, Asar, yeah, there, there's there's. I think a man more crafty. But wait, but wait, wasn't is, a, wasn't Asar projected to be like the scorer? 
and yeah, Amen no, was it's be always the, the better guard. shooter than a man. The oh, was a better shooter, and then a man was more of the guard, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah Amen, uh, Amen was the better playmaker, yeah, like, okay. overall like offensive player, but Asar okay. was the better okay. shooter. Gotcha. It says a lot that Asar's the better shooter when he shoots 18% from three, which is crazy. That's what does Amen shoot? Amen, last I checked, he was at 15, but let's see. <laughs> he's still at 15. But it seemed like... A, I no, 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 because he made a three a couple, a couple games ago. But then a he missed two last ago. night, so... Uh, but I, I really... 15.4%. 15.4%. I thought Asar was going to... So, so he, he, he's, he's, for, for, he's, he's getting closer to that league average, you know? Yeah, exactly. He's like, he's like 20%. 20%. 20 years of time. But in his career... Wait, yeah. if, a man, if a man Thompson goes up by 5% each year, by year eight, he'll be an average shooter. Damn. Wait, I have a question. It's Did kind of imagine? about like uh, what's it called? Winning bias. So I was watching a pan like you guys old videos and it was like winning bias is like just the wins and losses and championships. So since all of us like didn't really watch like all those older players growing up, when you watch yeah. games back, when you're like watching the playoff run where they won a championship, do you just watch it like and like how do they contribute to winning? Or, like, is that, like, how your mind is watching this? Because it could be, like, what if you're not really, like, like, you're seeing a lot of stuff that's giving them, like, it's bleeding value, but they still win the game. Like, how do you guys take that into consideration? Especially for, like, if you're watching Charles Barkley, who, like, never won a championship, are you watching him more like, oh, how did his game, like, impede winning more than yeah, someone else that, who did win? There is more, like, I don't want to say confirmation bias, but like you see, yeah, kind of like that. You see MJ and you'll see him blow an assignment or gamble and not get a steal. Word. You see that gives up an open shot. You might be more lenient towards that versus Charles Barkley being a criminal in defense because MJ still won with his deficiencies and Charles Barkley didn't. For me, I think the benefit of watching old games, especially like the 80s and the 70s, the scoreboard isn't there the whole game. So yeah, that's I don't even be knowing the score. Mm -hmm. I was watching the mm -hmm. game. Nassim is going through it on 2K or something. But, um, <laughs> he greened a three ball and he got fouled. Oh my God. But I think, so I think that's actually a benefit. <laughs> not, not, knowing, not knowing the score in games is a benefit to me. That's a I'm, great just, I'm, just, I'm just watching it based on. You're just watching the possession. Good, that's, that's yeah, what's good, what's bad, blah, blah, blah. And then I, I like, I analyze how valuable I think this player is to the overall success or detriment of the team. And I think that's why I'm lower on Charles Barkley because defensively, I don't think I've ever seen a four man as bad as him. Mm. Mm. Yeah, even, yeah, I, even, I, I guess, it's, I guess, it's weird, Mars. Like, have I, like, have him and Dirk are in the same you? tier defensively, but know, Mars, even Dirk right. tried better. Even Dirk did not game better. Charles Barkley in real life. What'd you say, Max? Have y'all ever seen Charles Barkley in real life? If you see him in real life, you'd give him more credit for what he does. Because his buddy is. really like six four. He, yeah, his yeah, buddy he was, is yeah. itty bitty. No, no, he, no. He he I see him like two or three times. I thought him and Draymond were the same height. He's the same he's height. He's, he's, height. Like, he's, he's like, like six five. He's like six five. Like six, five. Yeah, you are you, 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 you shrink. Yeah, Draymond is six five, by the way. But you shrink as you you shrink as you get older. So Charles Barkley six. I thought Draymond was six seven. He was like six. Yeah, seven. I, think, I think too. I think he just he Draymond just is not six seven. I think Charles. But I think Charles Barkley was probably six five, six six. Yeah, because like you'll see, him the, the you'll, the you'll see him in the you'll see him in the ninety three finals and he's standing next to MJ and they're the same height, the exact same height. So I don't know yeah. saw where he gets six four from. So I never heard that. He's he, no, no, because he when he, he, he gets he, old, you get older. Yeah. No, no, when you get older, your your posture is worse, and he had hip replacement, so he leans forward when more he walks. Yeah, yeah, but I'm talking about when he was playing. Yeah. But um, to the guy's question about watching games and watching the, I guess the outcome, I guess my thing is just when you're watching the game, you just kind of have to block out the noise of the result of the game and just watch, like Mar said, just the possessions and seeing the negative impact of whatever they're doing is. I guess if you're taking, if I see Patrick Ewing taking three fadeaway jumpers and not being aggressive in the paint, and he's just bricking all of them, I'm like, okay, well, obviously he's having a negative impact. Uh, on the game and then you can just look at that and say despite the fact that they won he still played poorly and you can factor that into your analysis so i don't think wins and losses has to factor in unless you just make let it do that for you i think um, yeah the winner That's championship true. i don't i mean i think everybody got win about us if you say you ain't got win about us you are i think everybody do but um to win a championship on any level is like the hardest thing 
to do, like any level. To go through a tournament and win it is the hardest thing to do. So if teammates. a guy gets, huh? Nothing, nothing gone. So if a guy gets through all this, I gotta give him extra credit. That's just me. I gotta give you extra credit. I just, for me in the team sport, talk to the most high. I've I've played on bad teams and I played on good teams. Like I'm I'm I can't I can't be like yeah you get extra credit for winning when I can just see your team is just better than everyone. Like I I can't. But that, but that but yeah you gotta use team game. too. You gotta you feel yeah. me? You can't just be blind yeah. with it. You gotta you gotta use context. Yeah, like, like it takes a lot. To, it takes a lot to win, but it gets easier. Like I can't give all the credit to the individual. Is basically what I'm saying. No, no, yeah, not right. at all. Never, team never, game. Never. But there are some players who like have had the pieces to win, and the reason they don't win is because they just don't have what it takes. And I I can understand that too. But it's okay. I just it depends. It depends on context, like you said. I won't hate. I won't hate on Tatum like that. Wait, I don't know. You can say Tatum. It's okay. So I've heard a lot of people say like Michael Jordan is one of the best guard defenders. Like, I how is that possible? He's not. Or his place. Like it does. The more I watch him every time, the more his defense gets less less impressive. I say this all the time. Second three P M J is the best version of him defensively. Man. Yes, so thank you. I watched him in the Indiana. Yeah. I watched him in the Indiana smarter. series. I watched him in Indiana series um in '98, and he was. I mean, I guess Jalen Rose isn't really the best benchmark, but Jalen Rose cannot shoot. Like he can. He had him in jail. If you watch him the entire series, he was saying very, you had Jalen Rose in jail. Yeah, I know. I, I yeah. know. I know. Because he couldn't. He couldn't. He couldn't. Come on, get off screen. Get me off Reggie Miller. Jalen Rose was hooping. All these screens are that. too much. What's yeah, I had Jalen Rose at Alcatraz. Okay. Like, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I think he was supposed <laughs> to do that. I, 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 I know. You guys I know respect Jalen Rose, man. Yeah, facts. Like when people would say, like, oh, in the hypothetical. Nah, I do. Yeah, I told you. Against the Warriors, it was dark Steph. I'm like, how is that possible? He can't draw Steph. I don't know. Tatum, Tatum is getting up there. Tatum is getting up there, KB. I'm not going to No, 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 no. Because if you think about it, you got to think about it. His his hairline has longevity and he has style to it. Wait, bro. Not, not Paul George? Yeah, you're right. 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 No, you got me with the longevity. Can someone explain Doc Rivers' hairline? Somebody nah, explain it to me. Doc Rivers' hairline up there too for longevity. Was it? For longevity. Bro, who who you know whose hairline got different peaks? That's literally Jalen Rose. That's the. I'm just. That is Jalen Rose. Rose. Doc Rivers doesn't have a hairline. His hairline has multiple peaks, bro. It's an imaginary hairline. <laughs> no, I no, I say that, I say this to this day. Doc Doc Rivers' haircut is just. Literally skin fade and enhancements at the front. There's that's no, literally, there's there's no nothing hair. else, bro. That's, that's, there's, there's no hair up there. There's, 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 there's no hair, bro. Yeah, chill out. That's enhancements, that bro. Y'all see, right y'all see the haircut he got for All Star Weekend? I, you just seen the enhancement line, and then just a bald like is, is the rest of his head. He likes the sweet sauce. He just he likes Caesar's KP. It's a tattoo, bro. It's like CP3. Same thing for CP3. Chris Paul got Chris Paul Doc Rivers got the same barber. Hundred percent. Paul actually has hair up there. They met the same barber. Clippers. That's what it was. They just went from there. Did you guys see LeBron combing his combing his hair one that one time in the locker room? He was combing his thoughts. Uh, yeah. Oh no, he he was brushing that with some major aggression. Like I don't know what he was doing out there, but. I could tell. I could tell when somebody usually has like something going on with their hair is like they. It's not really like their hair. When LeBron just goes and sits down and has a pre-tied do rag, he just puts it on any way he wants. He just puts it on, just pre-tied. You won't got real hair follicles, bro. It's fake. <laughs> it's fake, bro. Yeah. He really spends you a lot of turkey. I'm just speaking my hair, man. Yep. Where else can you get this type of content, guys? Where else? <laughs> great content. So hey, man, smash the like button if you think Jalen Rose has the best hairline in NBA history. Bro. Exactly, man. Facts, facts, exactly. Facts, man. Facts, no, facts, you know what? Facts. Once this show ends in about a minute, leave a comment on the best NBA hairlines. I want top five. There you go. Best you hairlines go. in NBA history. That's what. That's what. Who has the horse? Wait, wait. Who has the horse? Who has the horse? What? Before you wrap, before you wrap this up, because I think it's about to get wrapped up like in two minutes. Yes. Bro, I watched. Was it? Yeah, it was yesterday's panel. I got to watch it yesterday. I'll play back, man. Anytime you guess with a bad, like a guess with bad takes, it's so entertaining. Bro. <laughs> I 
I the really ba- don't agree. Bro, <laughs> the Cade Cunningham discourse with that man is hilarious, bro. Hilarious. And then when he did the Malik book is with top three half no. playmaker. I'm like, what? And then he said guards. Like, and then sense. he said he said guards to save himself, and then you're like, Yeah, Trey Luca Halley. And then he goes, Nick, Okay, no, he's, I, no, he's I, the board. <laughs> I think it said, he said, said the wait, wait, wait. He said, cumulative he said, stats, and they he said, he said I amend that. Right. Let's go to top ten, and then, bro, you guys should have named ten. I just want to see how much back he would have went the, the, on the that. The thing is, I knew when he said it, I knew where he was getting it from because I'd seen the like playmaking the, talent thing he was talking about and the assist mm-hmm. on drives thing. I yeah, seen the it. I didn't know anyone was gonna use that to me. No, I think you know what's crazy though. Game. I actually think that Malik Monk is a like a pretty good for what his position. I think he's, top, he's, I think he's a very he's good very playmaker. Good yeah, 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 but I don't yeah. think that he's up there with any of the people who are that he's trying Neither to name. I, but I, like, I didn't know anyone was gonna use those stats that I've also seen to push that. Nah, again. But I'm pretty sure if you look at those same like, talent, I was like, okay. If you look at like passing accuracy, like the playmaking accuracy, he's still like really low on that. He's like in the bottom twentieth percentile in those stats. Yes. I'm pretty sure. So it's like, yeah, he's a fit. Like he can get there, but even his effectiveness is still in that high. At all, it's actually pretty bad. So it's like, but we still got to respect Bob, guys. Respect Bob. But I got to end the show now. Um, uh, I, don't right. on, I don't know what shows on now. But um, I have no idea neither. Let me let me, let me, let me check. Let me check. Let me let me. KV and mind. Mars. My 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 buy-in season was. Man. Open. Wait, no. Is it open? Be, or is there no show? Maybe there's no show. Probably no show. Okay. Goodbye, everybody. Merry Christmas. There you go. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.